for the best sports conversation on your ride home. Welcome to the Ronnie and T-Crash Show. After the drive. On 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Great to have you with us on this Friday mailbag edition of the Ronnie and T-Crash Show with executive producer Chris Mathis along for the ride. We're coming to you from the Ruin Air Conditioning Studios in Feather Sound and beautiful Clearwater. Really want to thank you. We appreciate you for listening, however you may be listening, wherever you may be listening, on air, online, or via that free iHeart Radio app. Don't forget, we're streaming video on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. Why is that, Cowboy app? That's just the way it is. Like and subscribe, and don't worry about it. Uh, we've also got an opportunity for you to participate on the show as we do every day via the phones. Thank God they're working today, 888-546-4620. And the Bartow 4 DAE text platform is always up and running at 82945. Make sure you begin that text with DAE so that we see it. Message and data rates may apply. And guests on the program appear courtesy of the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network. Tom, happy Friday to you, man. Another gorgeous day across Tampa Bay. It is, man. I was out for my walk this morning. It was quite breezy. It was sunny. Now it's a little cloudy, but it's still fantastic out there. Certainly better than a lot of parts of our country. But we've got a huge show from now until 7 o'clock. And we're going to talk a lot of bucks. We're going to talk a lot of NFL. Our interview with Levante David yesterday really made the rounds, and it went viral. Pro Football Talk, USA Today, Bleacher Report, our friends over at the Pewter Report, they all picked up the story in which Levante David basically answered a question that I posed to him about, well, is it bucks or bust? Bucks or retirement? So Levante answered that question. He answered a whole lot of other questions too, but here was the answer to that question in particular. Uh, yeah, you could say that. You know, uh, it was at the point right now in my career. You know, twelve years playing one organization, a place that you know I've grown to be a, a a man. Well, I started as a young man, and I grew into a man. You know, in the city of Tampa, and just uh, the love that you know the city of Tampa has me, and the love that I have the city of Tampa. You know, the all the stuff that I acquired into the city. You know, I, I love doing. You know, I love doing my community stuff in Tampa. Yes, sir, he does. He does a lot of great charity work. Levante David, terrific player, even a greater man, too, off the field. And I think at the end of the day, and he mentioned it to us, the Bucks will obviously have more pressing needs that they need to devote their resources to that we'll get into in a matter of moments because there are some breaking developments there. And I think once they sort out, Baker Mayfield, Mike Evans, Antoine Winfield Jr., and the like, I think then they will circle back to Levante, who's more than fine with waiting. He's not going anywhere. He's not going to sign anywhere else. Hey, do you want to play? Levante will most likely say yes because he just had another wonderful season. And I do believe Levante David will be back for year number 13. But in case you missed that interview with Levante David, it was, it was outstanding. And... I put him in the GM's chair. He talked about Todd Bowles and, you know, the fans and their preconceived notions that Todd Bowles is too meek, doesn't <laughs> yeah. show enough emotion <sighs> or fire. Uh, Levante David also put that one to rest real quick. But we're going to replay that interview with Levante David coming up at 3.30 this afternoon, so in about 25 minutes from now. So in case you miss it from yesterday, it's coming up at the bottom of the hour. Yeah, he was great, man. He was very gracious and very conversational with us. It was basically a conversation we were having with him instead of an interview. but Which makes for the best interviews yes, in does. sports radio, news radio, however, news television. Those are the best types of interviews when it's more of a discussion rather than, you know, an interrogation, so to speak. And it was a discussion with Levante David, who has... Great respect for us. I have no idea why, but we also, <laughs> Ronnie, you and I have tremendous respect for him, and we we've do. been able to, you know, help him out with, you know, his charity events over the years and giving him the kind of promotion that, that he wants, that he absolutely deserves. I mean, the guy should be a buccaneer for life, and I would be stunned if it was anything else other than that. So you're going to hear that interview coming up at the bottom of the hour. Levante David is one of several free agents at the Buccaneers, have to attend to. Now, the good news that came down earlier today, great news, in fact, for the Buccaneers, great news for all 32 teams in the NFL. The NFL announcing that the salary cap is going up more than $30 million. Wow. 
It's going to be two hundred fifty-five point four million. It was two hundred twenty-four million this past year. So that is a huge jump. So that's great news for the Bucks. It's great news for every team in the NFL. They will have a lot more money to spend on players. And I don't know. And look, I'll just say this. I don't know if it's great news for the upper echelon free agents. I think a couple of them will be able to cash in on that. But if you're an upper echelon free agent, a guy like, let's just say Josh Allen from the Jaguars, you know, if they put the franchise tag on him and I talked about this yesterday, you know, he's not going to like that at all because now that there's more money out there. He wants to be able to go out there and he wants to be able to test his market in free agency. And there's no question that he's going to get a huge deal from somebody out there. Uh, if Chris Jones doesn't get the franchise tag, which he will in all likelihood from Kansas City, that's another guy. And Kirk Cousins, we know, cannot get the tag. And I think he, Ronnie, all vaults right to the top of the list in terms of free agents that a lot of teams will look at. And I think a lot of teams will value Kirk Cousins. And, you know, the Falcons and some other teams are going to be looking at him. Maybe Denver with Sean Payton out there. You know, I think that's also a distinct possibility because we know that... Uh, What's the question? Well, we know the question here is when are you going to let Russell Wilson go? And then who are you going to pursue to be his successor? And look, I think... Kirk Cousins makes sense for a lot of teams out there, just as Baker Mayfield does. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how that all plays out and where does Russell Wilson wind up. Uh, all of that is going to be interesting to see how it plays out. Atlanta, By the way, maybe? Where? Maybe Atlanta. Uh, I think Atlanta's shooting a little bit higher than that. Oh, wow. Uh, a little bit? Yeah, case, a little it, bit, man. In case you're wondering, uh, because... Uh, uh, uh. You insulted him a little oh, bit. Oh, stop, man. In case you're wondering, because I was kind of wondering, where did all this extra money come from all of a sudden for him from the NFL? And they say, this is what they say. Who's they? The, un, the NFL. The man. The unprecedented $30 million increase per club in this year's salary cap, Tom, guess what, is the result of the full repayment of all amounts advanced by the club's and deferred by the players during the COVID pandemic. Well, they also credited, quote, an extraordinary increase <laughs> yes. in media revenue, unquote. You know, the Amazon deals, Peacock, or... All these streaming channels, uh, man. All of it, man. All of it is is hitting the bank. So, you know, that's why you're talking about a ton of money for all teams. And, and in addition to that, the franchise tag values, which obviously are going to be of extreme importance to the Bucks. And other teams who are considering using the franchise tag on certain players. For quarterbacks, it's $38.3 million. I don't see the Buccaneers doing that with Baker Mayfield. Now, for wide receiver, it's $21.8 million. But Mike Evans has to get a 120% increase from what he had last season, I believe. So that number is around $28 million if you want to tag Mike Evans. And for safety... It was projected at $16 million. Now with the bump, the franchise tag for safeties in relation to Antoine Winfield Jr. Rick Stroud had that report that if the Bucks use the tag, it will most likely be used on him. And the safety number is $17.1 million. Yeah, I was reading Mike Florio uh, last week, and he was guesstimating. I guess he's got, he's, I'm sure he's got a source somewhere, but he actually almost hit the salary cap per club right on the head. He said around two hundred and fifty-five million, and what it turned out to be two hundred and fifty-five point four. So we're efforting to get him on the program next week, and it, it's always fun catching up with Florio. He's always got some stuff to say, man. He does, and we're going to have him on hopefully next week. We do know that Chris Canty, ESPN NFL analyst, I talked to him yesterday. He's going to join us on Tuesday at four o'clock. So can't wait to talk to him because next week. The news cycle will only ramp up even more because it is the scouting combine from Indianapolis where all these draft-eligible players will be there. They'll be poked and prodded and the 40-yard dash and everything else. I love the gauntlet drill. That's one of my favorite drills. But that's going to take center stage next week where all these agents, all these players, all these head coaches and general managers will all be convening, which means they'll all be talking to each other Jason Light will be there along with Todd Bowles. The agent for Baker Mayfield will also be there. Rick Stroud, who was on our show yesterday, 
had the report at TampaBay.com that the Buccaneers have already commenced contract talks with Baker Mayfield, and it's going to get even more hot and heavy next week at the Combine where they will meet with Baker Mayfield's agent. They're going to meet with Mike Evans' agent, who's Derek Gilmore. That's going to be a fascinating discussion, as well as Antoine Winfield's agent as well. So you're going to hear a lot more news and reports coming out of the combine next week. Well, you'll be happy to know that, you know, if iHeart participates uh, like we want them to, Tom, I've already made reservations for us at St. Elmo's, also at Harry and Izzy's, and Tony's Fine Pizza in downtown Indianapolis. Oh, gosh, I so we can that. hang out and be a fly on the wall, see what the hell's going on, man. Oh, I, there goes Jason Light. I would love it. I would love it. I mean, you know, every other show gets to go on the road. Well, you know, well, what are we, chopped liver over here? The combine well, thing would be fun, man. The combine thing would be great. Do you, do you know what, and this is what our bosses need to understand. Do you realize, John Mamola and everybody else, that is a, Trevor tro- a treasure trove of content. You can break news there. We could break news. I mean, we can have... You know, beers with Jason Light. I mean, he certainly knows uh, how to down a beer or two. Uh, say that again. Yes, yes, we know that. Stella Artois. Ooh, is, uh, you know, you can have a cigar, too. I mean, I could bring a few of those up there, too, to the Combine in Indianapolis. But you're talking about uh, an absolute uh, target-rich environment when it comes to content up in Indianapolis. So uh, we'll have, obviously, our ear to the ground. I wish we could be up there, which would be awesome. But I think a lot of news and a lot of reports will come out of the combine next week. Yeah. Hey, real quick, how does ahead. how exactly does this bump in salary cap next season? How does that impact Oof. the Buccaneers right now with guys like Baker Mayfield and Mike Evans? Well, it gives them more room to operate, yeah. and and they're going to have a lot more room to maybe maybe just maybe bring all of these guys back a little more flexibility plus they can create some more cap space on their own by doing what they were going to do anyway before the cap increased which means cutting Shaq Barrett unfortunately I think that's going to happen Russell Gage I think is going to be cut that's going to free up a lot of room he was injured all season long that's going to add even more room restructuring the deals of guys like Chris Godwin who's in the final year of that three-year, $60 million deal, they can free up some more room there. And the way to do that is you can just sign Chris to a contract extension, which I think is not out of the realm of possibility. You can lower his cap number even more and push money down the road. And, of course, you have Tristan Wirfs. They have to sign him to an extension. Right. They can redo Vita Vea's deal. I think they can redo... Um What's the corner? Not Carlton Davis. The uh, Jamel other. Dean. Jamel Dean. Well, yes. I- I'm glad you brought up that position because I was just about to address that. Keep a close eye on the Buccaneer corners in the next week because you have two guys who are on fat contracts in Carlton Davis and Jamel Dean, two guys who have missed quite a few games, and they both did this past season. That, coupled with the emergence of Zion McCullum, means I think one of those guys is in trouble. And I think the guy, unfortunately... For all the talk he had last offseason, and I love him to death, but Carlton Davis, Ronnie, I think is in a little bit of trouble here. Well, I think, and I'll have to go check, but I was reading some stuff last night. I think he's missed 16 games in the last two years, years, man. I mean, if you're making that much money, I mean, you can't be missing that many games. He missed five, I think, this year. So I think the Buccaneers would like to have him more available to them if he's going to make the kind of money that he's making, but... I think Carlton Davis is a name to watch, absolutely. I think he might be in some trouble here. So there are other ways that the Bucks can, you know, do what they want to do as far as signing the free agents, the key free agents that they want to bring back, maybe have a little money to help improve the team as well. Well, the Buccaneers will certainly be on the lookout next week in Indianapolis, interior offensive line. You know, I saw a mock draft, one of the 468 that are currently out there with about another 700 to go before draft day. Mine included. Yeah, you haven't seen Chris's, have you? He's done what? three already. Yeah, man, I'm pumping him out. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm good on the mock <laughs> drafts. I'm him like, what? Uh, <clears throat> anywho, but I saw a number of mock drafts already. And look, it's it's almost impossible to project who's going to fall to 26. But I saw one mock draft in which the center from Oregon falls to the Bucs. And I think that would be a no-brainer. Jackson Powers Johnson, I think his name is. But if he falls, I mean, that would be a no-brainer. So 
The Buccaneers are going to be scouring the combine next week, and they're also going to be talking to all these agents. Uh, so according to Rick Stroud, the, although nothing is imminent, the Bucks and Mayfield have had some preliminary talks about a new contract. Jason Light is expected to meet with the agent for Baker Mayfield, whose name is Tom Mills, next week. Both sides have expressed an interest in reaching an agreement, which is great. Also, Mike Evans, you know, they're going to have to figure out a way to, uh, you know, hopefully get him back in the fold. And then you have Antoine Winfield Jr. If they decide to use a franchise tag, now we know what that number is. It's going to be $17.1 million. That's a pretty good number. So a little bit of an increase there because, like you said before, we were all speculating and thinking it was going to be like 16.2. I'm trying to find the number of games that Carlton Davis missed over the last – I. I think it's it may be the last three seasons, but I know it was, a, it was like 16 games. That, that number jumped out at me. And by the way, his uh, pro football focus grade was the lowest of his career this season. As you mentioned before, he had a lot of talk before the season about what this team was going to do, and he was going to be one of the leaders. But his overall grade was like a 58.2, his lowest of his career. And he allowed a career high in catch rate, Tom, of 64.6%. Well, and the Bucks know all these numbers because they invest in analytics. They're looking at all these numbers. That does not bode well for him. He makes a lot of money. So Carlton Davis missed five games this past season. The year prior, he missed four games. The year before that, he missed six games. So there you go. It's the last three years. Fifteen games he's missed in the last three years. I mean, that's oof, oof is right. And look, I know Todd loves Carlton Davis, and when he's healthy – He's a good press man corner. He's exactly the type of guy that flourishes in a scheme like Todd Bowles's. But when you miss 15 games over the last three years and you're making that much money, you have a guy on the other side who also makes a lot of money who's missed a few games. You can't have two guys, Ronnie, who make a lot of money and miss a lot of games. No, That's, you cannot. It's not acceptable. So I, I think it's a foregone conclusion that one of those guys will not be back in 2024. Either Carlton Davis and Jamel Dean and I would probably bet on Carlton Davis being the guy who doesn't make it back on this team for next year. So that would be unfortunate. But that, again, that is the business of the NFL as we see it. And I know your questions are coming in about the salary cap. The salary cap is now, the Bucks are estimated to be like $45 million under the cap right now. But again, as Tom was mentioning, they can increase that cap number yes. by making some moves. And he just named the players they could cut to give them even added salary cap space. Well, a guy like Russell Gage, I think I saw the number was $12 million they can save. That's a lot of money. And Russell Gage, unfortunately, they signed him. They thought that maybe he can come in as a number three guy. And that hasn't exactly worked out to this point. But you know, that is, let's see, the dead cap number, the cap hit. Yeah, yeah, it's around that 12 million mark. So it's that's a guy that obviously, you know, the Buccaneers are probably going to move off of and, you know, get some salary cap relief. I think moving forward, I think you can absolutely pencil that in. You know, Shaq Barrett, unfortunately, on the wrong side of 30, he makes quite a bit of money. His cap hit is at 14 Point one million. He's got a dead cap hit of twenty six point six million. So you know there's a gap there that the Buccaneers can absolutely do without. Uh, so they can probably get to upwards of sixty million dollars in cap space by let, letting go of those two guys, along with restructuring some deals, and that might be enough money to bring back their key guys, Baker Mayfield. Even Mike Evans, Antoine Winfield Jr., you put the tag on him for $17 million. We know Levante David. You're going to hear that interview coming up in a matter of moments. I don't think he's going anywhere. I think with the salary cap increase, you should feel more optimistic now as a Buccaneer fan that they should be able to bring back all of their big-time free agents for 2024. So what happened today was a good day and a good thing for the Buccaneers. Indeed it was, and we're looking forward to seeing what Jason Light and Mike Greenberg and company can do with this salary cap and the added money that the NFL has thrown at all these teams. Again, the breaking news is that the NFL announced today, today, folks, that the salary cap is going to be raised to $255.4 per club 
And uh, that amounts to a $30 million increase per club. I don't think it's ever increased that much. That's unprecedented. It, it, it is the highest increase in the history of the league because of all these revenue sources and these streaming services. And as one texter pointed out, uh, my girlfriend, Taylor Swift, obviously yeah, yeah. her influence on the NFL is... Um, also boosted their uh, shield and boosted their platform a little bit and their brand, which is something that the NFL absolutely adores. But we're going to get into that. Levante David coming up in a matter of moments, an interview from yesterday. It was really eye-opening in case you missed it. It is coming up very soon. Guys, on this Friday, if you or someone you love happens to be injured in an accident, you need to protect your rights and get on the phone with my guys over at Catania and Catania because they've been at it more than 30 years with a proven track record of success. They don't get paid unless you get paid $500 million plus and counting has been recovered by my guys for injury victims just like you. So protect your rights. Call them. They will go the extra mile. Catania, Catania is where it's at. 813-222-8545. That's 813-222-8545. Or hit them up online at CatanyCatania.com to get that free evaluation of your case. Because over at Catania Catania, they put families first. Office Tampa, 9 30 spokesman. All right, it's a free-for-all fun football Friday. Ronnie and T. Kraz, Chris Mattis as well. On the way back, Levante David stops by the show. What is he thinking as he just wrapped up his 12th season in the NFL and he played just as well as he did from six or seven years ago. If he were the GM, who would he lock up first? And is Todd Bowles really a pushover, as a lot of fans think he is? Wait until you hear what Levante David told us. Number 54 is coming up next. Play ball! Tomorrow, spring training is underway. Catch all the action live beginning at 1230 as the Rays take on the Atlanta Braves on the radio home of the Tampa Bay Rays. All season long, 95.3 WDAE and AM 620 and streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. Yeah! WDAE traffic update. Seen delays on eastbound Hillsborough Avenue just before Anderson due to a crash. Also in Largo, westbound Alberton Road at 66th Street. Two lanes are blocked there. Delays in Brandon on eastbound 60, approaching Valrico Road. And we're already seeing delays on the interstates. Northbound 275 from the West Shore area towards downtown Tampa. Eastbound I-4 already slow from 301 out towards McIntosh Road. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Taco Bell. Taco Bell. Bell's new cravings value menu is a big deal, or rather, it's 10 big deals. From new items like the loaded nachos to familiar favorites like the spicy potato soft taco. Check it out at a participating Taco Bell today. Available for a limited time only while supplies last. Revar Buick GMC, the number two. Wait a minute. Sorry, I said that wrong there. Revar Buick GMC, the number two. Two GMC dealer in the country. That's right. Revar Buick GMC is now the number two GMC dealer in the entire country. How'd they get there? Well, massive inventory, which means you've got options. Insane discounts you just won't see these days. Go to RevardBuickGMC.com and see for yourself. And last but not least, a staff to help you get through the car buying process start to finish. Visit RevardBuickGMC.com today. GMC. We are professional grade. With your choice of select sandwich, nugs, fries, and a drink, Wendy's $5 Biggie Bag is your go-to. Your nugget wingman. Your hot and crispy fry co-pilot. Just like us. We're like the bag boys. What? Bag boys, bag boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when we bring your food? <sighs> For a deal you can count on, bet on Biggie and choose wisely. Choose Wendy's. Bag boys, bag boys. U.S. price participation may vary. Includes choice of TBC or crispy chicken sandwich with four-piece nugs, junior fry, and small soft drink. Third-party delivery pricing may be higher. The iHeartMedia team is growing, and we're looking for experienced salespeople to join our team. If you're interested in working in a fast-paced environment and representing the biggest brands in media, go to iHeartMediaCareers.com and type Tampa. iHeartMedia is an equal opportunity employer, and you may be the next rock star seller for our team. Go to iHeartMediaCareers.com and type Tampa and apply today. Ew, gotta get rid of this old Backstreet Boys t-shirt. Tell me why. Because it stinks, boys. Tell me why. I've washed it so many times, but the odor won't come out. Tell me why. No, you tell me why I can't get rid of this odor. Have you tried Downy Rinse and Refresh? It doesn't just cover up odors. It helps remove them. Wow, it worked, guys. Yeah. 
Downey Rinse and Refresh removes more odor in one wash than the leading value detergent in three washes. Find it wherever you buy laundry products. I had an important job, and it wasn't just a job. It was keeping my brothers and sisters safe. And coming back, it felt like kind of thrown away. If it hadn't been for Wounded Warrior Project, I honestly don't know if I would be here. It was like, I got my family back again. We all felt the connection, like that brother and sisterhood. See how Wounded Warrior Project empowers women veterans like Donna by visiting woundedwarriorproject.org slash empower women vets. Your home or business is a reflection of you. Now, if you're looking to take it from middling to sizzling, you need the help of your local Serta Pro painters and the power of pro. That's Serta Pro's power of listening to your needs and delivering a customized project plan and the power of doing the job right, on time, and within your budget. Contact Serta Pro painters today at certapro.com. The power of pro. Each Serta Pro painter's business is independently owned and operated. Win tickets to the Valspar Championship PGA Tour Tournament at Innisbrook Resort. WDAE will be at Local Brewing Company in Palm Harbor this Thursday or Friday at Eddie's Bar and Grill in St. Pete. Next Thursday, March 7th, we'll be heading to Five Bucks Drinkery in Seminole, all hooked up by Mick Ultra. All events from 5 to 7. Please drink responsibly. By now, you've heard all of our ads. America's largest injury law firm. It means that when you hire us, you get a legal army. When it comes to law, size matters. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. For more information about contests on this station, go to 953WDAE.com slash rules. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Windy tonight with increasing clouds this afternoon, then rain, high 74. Rain early tonight, clearing by morning, low 56 degrees. Mostly sunny Saturday and Sunday with a high around 70. This report is sponsored by Pfizer. COVID-19? I don't want to risk missing work. I booked an appointment for this season's updated COVID-19 shot designed to help protect against recent variants. Learn about a vaccine option and book your COVID-19 shot on ScheduleCovidVax.com. Sponsored by Pfizer. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, this is Tampa Bay Sports Radio. 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Home of the best Bolts coverage. But having watched him last year, I think he proved not just to the team, but to himself um, that he's still got a, a lot of juice left. And, you know, he was able to do stuff physically. Um, and what he has done, again, maybe a Tom Brady effect, but the nutrition, uh, understanding how much rest he needs. Um, if it's a day off during the week towards the end of the season, whatever that is. That was Rick Stroud of the Tampa Bay Times and TampaBay.com. He was on our show yesterday, and he was talking about Levante David, who just wrapped up his 12th year. Another brilliant season for the kid out of Nebraska in the 2012 draft. Levante David showing that he still has something left in the tank. So what's Levante thinking about as he wraps up year number 12? Will he be back? Is retirement on his mind? What about the rest of this Buccaneer team in terms of the free agents? Whom would he prioritize if he were the GM? Let's go to the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network DA hotline. Learn more at cfbhn.org. And let's welcome him back to the show. Buccaneer linebacker Levante David, number 54. He's back with us here on Ronnie and T. Kraz. What's going on, Levante? What's up, Ronnie? What's up, T. Kraz, man? How y'all doing? I ain't your voice in a while. Yeah, well, it's good to hear from you, and uh, I'm going to ask you this before we get to what we really want to ask you, because a lot of people want to know, they think your coach shows no emotion, that he's emotionless, he, uh, you know, I don't know, but can you tell us what he's like when he's really mad? What's he like when he's really hacked off, man, Todd Bowles behind closed doors? I could tell you it's the complete opposite of what y'all think. <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't seen it. I got, I got some of it. So uh, I know exactly how he is, you know, um, especially, you know, defensive side. When the defense is not going the way he wanted to go, you know, uh, first he look at all the leaders and then they go from there. So uh, I definitely <laughs> caught the end of that, caught the end of some of his uh, temper tantrums and stuff like that. But, you know, at the end of the day, man, he's a real, you know, a real passionate guy about the game, man, a smart football coach and uh, definitely a uh, guy who people will grow to love. Well, that's, that's interesting you mentioned that, Levante. So when was the last time he was mad at you? And obviously we're on live radio, so you can kind of clean it up a little bit. 
the last time he was mad at me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I want to tell y'all that. <laughs> okay. But, what? Uh, Is it recent uh, history? Oh, yeah, it's definitely recent. <laughs> <laughs> what did it, you do, it, man? It was uh, one of the games that we had, and, uh, you know, communication wasn't, you know, uh, communication, communication wasn't precise, or, you know, some people didn't get it. So, uh, you know. Uh, you know, me being uh, uh the the little oh. linebacker or the Mike linebacker, you know, he he gave me the the the, the main thing. Like, if they, they're not getting it, then that's your fault. So, you know, that's uh that's probably the the the, the main thing I got from it. But you know, uh, everything else that's uh, X rated. Um, <laughs> can I guess which game it was? Was it this year or was it like a couple of years? No, you ago? said it was recent. It was recent. All right, so yeah. it's this year. It was this. It was, it was this year. Okay. All right. Fair enough. All right, Levante David is with us. 12 years in the NFL. Now that you've had a chance to reflect and you are incredible in the playoff game, 13 tackles and a sack against the Lions. Now that you look back at the season that you just had, you were as good this year at the age of 34 as you were when you were 24, 25. How do you explain that? Oh, man, just uh, just trying to stay consistent and just keep going, working on my craft and uh, just understanding the game more, you know, um, Trying to figure out figuring out offenses and just you know just having fun at the end of the day, uh, just playing with a lot of passion, playing with a lot of energy, and uh, just you know wanting to you know get my all for all my guys out there you know that I play with you know uh, it's just it's just a fun group of guys who you know I enjoy playing playing next to so um that's probably the main thing and then just uh you know just taking care of my body just trying to stay healthy you know unfortunately I did miss two games this year but. You know, it wasn't nothing serious, so I was able to get back and uh, pick up where I left off. So um, it definitely was a fun year for me, you know, uh, playing at that type of level at 33 years old. You know, a lot of people don't expect that, but, you know, me, you know, um, my whole mindset is, you know, as long as I'm feeling good, I'm going to go out there and do my, do my thing. Levante David is with us on the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network DAE hotline. You can learn more at cfbhn.org. Levante. You mentioned you missed a couple of games, so you played a total of 17 games this season, including the playoff games. I want to ask you, how long does it take your, your mind and your body to recover from that? Man, it, <laughs> I guess that's the, the age coming fat in two. You know, um, you know uh, I remember right after the game, you know, uh, during the exit meetings, you know, I was, I was sore, you know, uh, exhausted, kind of tired, and stuff like that. But, you know, probably give myself, you know, and to probably probably give myself for sure exactly probably about a month, like right at the end of the Super Bowl before I actually start doing other things. But um, it probably take like a you know a week or two to actually you know feel real good again or whatever after a long season like that. So, um, but that before I actually start you know actually getting into movement and stuff, I wait till after the Super Bowl to actually start start doing things, whether it's you know uh, conditioning or whether it's just doing um, work on my body. Yeah, we saw you working on your body. I think yesterday on social media, you were doing some working out already, just a couple of weeks removed from the season, as you just mentioned. So you're on an expiring contract. Have you talked to the Buccaneers about coming back for year number 13? What do you say? Uh, I mean, we haven't really spoke about that, but, you know, everybody, you know, you know, we know, we know, we know how I go right now. You know, uh, I'm 12 years and I know how the game goes. They sure, they know. Um, so, um, I just go from there, you know, and uh, whenever they're ready, they'll reach out and things like that. So, um, you know, right now I just try to, you know, um, keep myself ready, try to stay ready and, um, you know, just get my body back, you know, feeling good because you know, for a long, uh, long time, then it's harder to get back and, you know, get back in shape or whatever it may be. But, you know, um, no, that's your question. No, we haven't talked, but I'm sure no conversations will, will come up soon. Is it safe to say at this point of your career that you want to be a law, lifelong Buccaneer and it's either re-signing with the Buccaneers or retiring? Is it safe to say that those are the two options and you don't want to go anywhere else? Uh, yeah, you could say that. You know, uh, it was at the point right now in my career, you know, 12 years playing one organization, a place that, you know, I've grown to be a, a, a man. Well, I started as a young man and I grew into a man you know, in the city of Tampa and just uh, the love that, you know, the city of Tampa has me and the love that I have for the city of Tampa, you know, the all the stuff that I pride into the city, you know, I, I love doing, you know, I love doing my community stuff in Tampa. 
and um, just the organization, man, just for having faith in me and having me sticking around for this long time and just the relationship that I gained throughout, you know, the city of Tampa. So, you know, of course, I will, I will want to we want to do that. I will want to stay a buck for the rest of my career as long as I play. And uh, at the end of the day, yeah, I do want to retire a buck, but, you know, um, um, it just got to be a, a mutual thing. We've had Gerald McCoy on the show a couple of times uh, leading up to the Super Bowl, and he has high praise for you. I just want to know, what did it mean to you on that Monday night game against the Eagles, that playoff game, when you came out and you saw <laughs> Gerald in your 54 yeah. jersey, man? What was that like? Oh, man, it was always great to see G. G was one of those guys who, you know, I built the bond with, you know, ASAP. So when I got into the league, he was one of those guys who, um, who I uh, – who I gain respect, you know, um, and uh, he one of those guys who just took me under his wing, and uh, we've been tight ever since. Just, you know, his his passion for the game too as well, and then there's just, you know, uh, he, he he's not only a friend but he's a brother to me, and uh, he's a, he's a fan of uh, of uh, obviously what I do, and uh, I had some great years playing behind him, and then uh, for to see him, you know, out there, you know, I mean, obviously he told me before the before the game that he was going to come. He tell me every game that he's going to come to. So, you know, as soon as I saw him, I didn't know when I was going to see him, but when I saw him, I had to run up and get my guy, you know, a chest bump. You know, that's just the relationship you have. You know, um, you know, Gerald was just a, a great supporter of not only me, but also the Buccaneers organization. Um, yeah, he built a lot of great relationships in Tampa as well. So uh, it's definitely no surprise that he always come back to support. The great Levante David, number 54, joining us here on Ronnie and T. Kraz on WDAE here in Tampa Bay. We certainly appreciate a few minutes of your time, Levante. All right, let's 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 have a little fun with you. You are now the general manager of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You're going to replace Jason Light, which I'm sure he's very happy to know about. So you're the GM. You've got Baker Mayfield, Mike Evans, yourself, Antoine Winfield Jr., David, a lot of big name free agents. You're Levante David. Who is the first priority you're locking up right now? Oh man, that's tough. You know, I'm mostly attached to all those dudes. You know, <laughs> you know, uh, um, everybody, everybody I love. You know, uh, from Mike, Devin, Bake. Even though Bake, you know, first year, but Bake was a, was a great dude. Great, to, Bake is a great guy. Uh, tweets after Antoine Winfield. You know, uh, I even throw Tristan Russ in there. You know, get him his deal. Get him his deal out of the way. You know, um, but if you want to, if you want to be honest, you know, uh, I go, I gotta go. Mike Evans, my boy, Mike. Mike is, you know, I love Mike, man. Man, Mike has a all have an awesome relationship, man. Just the way I seen Mike grow from his rookie year to now, as a as a football player, as a man, and then just understanding like how he carries himself, man, is just, you know, I would love to uh, reward him with what he deserves. And then, you know, obviously the consecutive seasons with the thousand yards receiving, you know, that's a no brainer. No doubt about that. Levante, what did you learn from the Tom Brady years? Oh, uh, what did I learn? Man, just, you know, uh, never take the game for granted. You know, um, you know, a lot of times when I was younger, you know, I was just going out there playing, you know, just because I love the game, but never in my mind I thought I would think that you know, um, you know, any play could be my last play. You know, I was just going out there playing, but you know, just over the years you just see a lot of guys, you know, having career end injuries, and then a lot of guys just getting hurt and just forced to retirement. Man, it always puts a disrespect. It's like you know, I'm blessed to play this game, and uh, you know, when Tom got there, just seeing how many years he played and how he never took not one down for granted, not one practice for granted. Just how much passion he had into it. And then, you know, that Super Bowl speech that he gave, you know, kind of really like lit a light bulb on my head, a light bulb on my head. You know, it was a, um, just a, just I was like, dang, man, like we all best to play this game, and man, we can't take it for granted because any day, you know, it could be taken away from you. And um, I don't, I don't, I, I, I'm thankful, you know, I'm blessed. You know, God blessed me in many, many ways. And um, obviously to play the game, I love to to be able to make a living for my family. You know, I can't I can't take it for granted. Without question. All right, Levante, last one out of me. We know your relationship with Devin White. He's been like your little bro. 
the entire time he's been here in Tampa Bay. He is also a free agent. He's been kind of up and down. I know you talk with him a lot, so just share with us Mm -hmm. your thoughts on Devin, where he's at right now, what do you think is going to happen this offseason with him? Yeah, I mean, when me and Devin talk, it's mainly not really about uh, my football, man. We just, uh, I just try to just check on, check on his head and stuff. He, um, he sent me a lot of stuff about horses and stuff like that. I don't even know why. He, he don't, he don't <laughs> but uh, you know, he's real passionate about the horse stuff, so he uh, sent me stuff like that. And then uh, I was just talking to him over his birthday. You know, uh, he was just out enjoying himself, man. And, uh, I told him like he finally needs to do that because I don't think he never really enjoyed like. He always go back home and be with the horses and stuff. I told him, like, man, you young, man. You need to go out and just go to an island or something. Go relax or something. Go do something. So uh, he um, he did go and uh, enjoy himself and stuff like that. But, you know, from the football side, man, um, you know, unfortunately a lot of things didn't go, you know, go his way this year as far as, you know, like, you know injuries and, you know, all the off, off the field stuff. But, you know, for me, come in, that's why I come in. He's my be, be a big brother, man. Just give him my advice and stuff like that and just try to – Try to keep him positive. Try to keep him encouraged. And uh, and if you know Devin, you know uh, he he loves the game of football. He's passionate about the game. So uh, he always out there, you know, prove people wrong. So you know, whatever happens, whether he's back with the Bucks or not, I'm sure he's going to be he's going to be back to 100 percent and back dominating the game. And last one for me: What does KJ Britt bring to this defense, and what kind of player is he, in your opinion? Oh, I love KJ, man. I love, I watched the growth of KJ too as well. You know, KJ is one of those guys coming in. He was kind of like pencil in as a special teamer, obviously because of me and Devin. But then just seeing his growth, understanding the defense throughout the years, and then they'll uh, just bring that passion to the game. You know, um, he's uh one of those guys who love the game. He could be a a great leader one day. You know, uh maybe next year he could be a great leader. And um, he's one of those guys who, you know, uh. <laughs> You're gonna have to uh, have your big boy pads on when you run through the hole. So uh, I definitely love, I definitely love, love that out of him. You know, um, uh, he he played to his strengths, and um, that's just something that you you expect out of a guy like KJ. He's Levante David, number fifty four. Hopefully, you are back, my friend, for year number thirteen. Thanks so much for a few minutes of your time. Rest up, have a great off season. We hope to talk to you soon, Levante. Appreciate you guys. Thank you always for having me, man. See y'all soon. Hopefully. You got it. <laughs> yes, you. hopefully. We will see you soon, my man. Take, take care. Sure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, indeed. Yes, sir. What, right. a, what a great dude. What a great player. On and off the field. Levante David. I mean, he is, and when you really think about it, he is the perfect type of model athlete. The guy who is just a wonderful player on the field, a tough, fearless leader off the field, you never hear anything negative about Levante David. He gives back to the community. There's a lot of charitable efforts. If you could clone him and make 53 of those guys, I mean, the Buccaneers would be in great shape. Yeah, I know people that live in his building in Tampa, and they say he's just an incredible guy. And we would expect nothing nothing less from Levante David. So if you'd like to help out his foundation, it's Levante, L-A-V-O-N-T-E, LevanteDavid.org. There you go, go there and you can check it out. LevanteDavid.org. Coming up at the top of the hour, the great Neil Solons of Rays Radio will join us. We got the mailbag a little bit later on here on this fun Friday show. Guys, if you're in the market for an F-150, you are in luck. Brandon Ford's got plenty of them. And they're discounting them as well. February 29th will be your final opportunity to get the best F-150 deal ever from my guy Tom Murray and the people over at Brandon Ford. Again, they're blowing out these F-150s at an incredible pace. But they still have so many of those leftover 2023s. Now, these leftovers may not be exactly the color you're looking for or the equipment. But man, oh man, they are discounting them. 30 of these trucks with at least $12,000 off the sticker say thousands more or rates like 1.9% for 72 months. Even the 2023 F-150 Lightnings are up to 15 grand off the sticker with rates as low as 3.9% for 60 months. Now, we don't know when Brandon Ford will be able to offer these deals again, so you need to get down to Brandon Ford by February the 29th because it is coming up fast. You got to hurry. 
The F-150 objective deal ends soon at Brandon Ford. Highway 60 at 301 in Tampa. Online 24-7 at BrandonFord.com. The largest volume F-series dealer in America. See my guy Tom Murray. Tell him I sent you. Bring in your trade as well. These F-150s are going fast. If you want one of them, now's the time to strike. Again, the great Neil Solon's coming in. Neil Solon's here. Race Spring Training is going on. Tomorrow, it's the Race Spring opener as the Rays will take on the Atlanta Braves. We're going to talk to Neil about who is standing out so far in the first few days of Rays Spring Training. We've had a lot of Buccaneer talk, but on the way back, major concern for the hockey team and the head coach is not too happy about it. That is next. This is 95.3 WDAE and AM620, home of the best Bolts coverage on your radio and online at 953WDAE.com. WDAE. Traffic update. Seen delays on eastbound Hillsboro Avenue just before Anderson due to a crash. Also in Largo, westbound Alberton Road at 66th Street. Two lanes are blocked there. Delays in Brandon on eastbound 60, approaching Valrico Road. And we're already seeing delays on the interstates. Northbound 275 from the West Shore area towards downtown Tampa. Eastbound I-4 already slow from 301 out towards McIntosh Road. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Mattress Firm. Dive into hibernation mode with a huge deal on deeper sleep during Mattress Firm's President's Day sale. Shop now and save up to $500 on select Tempur-Pedic adjustable mattress sets and receive a $300 instant gift for pillows and more. Plus, get free and fast delivery to your door. Restrictions apply. I'm still going for it, even with higher stroke risk from atrial fibrillation and a regular heartbeat not caused by a heart valve problem. Over a three-year study, Eliquis Apixaban tablets reduce stroke risk better than warfarin. And over 97% of Eliquis patients did not experience a stroke. A first stroke occurred in 2.9% of warfarin patients versus 2.3% of Eliquis patients. Don't stop taking prescription Eliquis without asking your doctor. It may increase your stroke risk. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve, abnormal bleeding, or antiphospholipid syndrome. While taking, you may bruise more easily or take longer for bleeding to stop. A spinal injection while on Eliquis increases risk of blood clots, which may cause paralysis, the inability to move. Get medical help right away for unexpected bleeding, unusual bruising, or tingling, numbness, or muscle weakness. Medications such as aspirin products, NSAIDs, SSRIs, SNRIs, and blood thinners may increase bleeding risk. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. Learn more at Eliquis.com or call 1-855-ELIQUIS. Revar Buick GMC, the number two... Wait a minute, sorry, I said that wrong there. Revar Buick GMC, the number two GMC dealer in the country. That's right, Revar Buick GMC is now the number two GMC dealer in the entire country. How'd they get there? Well, massive inventory, which means you've got options. Insane discounts you just won't see these days. Go to RevardBuickGMC.com and see for yourself. And last but not least, a staff to help you get through the car buying process start to finish. Visit RevardBuickGMC.com today. GMC, we are professional grade. I lock up my Old Spice Fiji Aluminum Free Dry Spray to keep that 24-7 lasting freshness safe for myself. Fresh coconuts, palm trees in the wind. It's like catching waves in Fiji. Actually, I just talked myself into a refreshing spritz of Fiji. My Old Spice is missing! No! Guys, if you or a loved one has been injured in an accident, you got to call my guys over at Catania Catania Injury Law Experts, the top-rated personal injury firm in Tampa. They've been doing this since 1992. You can call them 24-7, 365, and they're proud to say they have successfully recovered over $500 million in counting for injury victims just like you. So give my friends over at Catania Catania a call, 813-222-8545, or online at CatanyaCatania.com. Catania Catania, putting families first. Office Tampa, not attorney's Spokesman. Ugh, after a big dinner, my nighttime heartburn would keep me up. I'd be taking an acid after an acid all night long. But then I tried Prilosec OTC. Just one pill a day blocks my frequent heartburn for a full 24 hours, giving me one and done heartburn relief. Without heartburn keeping me up, <sighs> I could have a restful night's sleep. Prilosec OTC. One pill a day, 24 hours, zero heartburn. It's possible while taking Prilosec OTC. Use as directed for 14 days to treat frequent heartburn, not for immediate relief. If you want your windows there in weeks, pick up the phone and just text Reese.
congratulations to our 2023 giveaway winner, Andy from Naples. Tell us when you found out you won $15,000 in windows from Reese. Well, I had received the text message saying I won while teaching my fifth graders. Initially, I wanted to scream and shout from the excitement, but I held it together. Now it's your turn to win. Just text the word HAPPY to 20129. That's HAPPY to 20129. Thank you, Reese Windows. Sponsored by Howard Team Home Loans.com. Ronnie and T. Crass here. You know what? We both love the iHeartRadio app. I use it all the time because it's great in the car when you're driving around, particularly when you can't get the AM signal from 620, like down in the Sarasota area, really, really well. You connect on that app, Tom. It's free to download. You can compile your music list. You can listen to any iHeart radio station from across America or around the world, from anywhere in the civilized world. Crystal clear reception. I love it. I use it. Ronnie uses it. And you should too. This report is sponsored by Pfizer. COVID-19? I don't want to risk missing work. I booked an appointment for this season's updated COVID-19 shot designed to help protect against recent variants. Learn about a vaccine option and book your COVID-19 shot on ScheduleCovidVax.com. Sponsored by Pfizer. Windy tonight with increasing clouds this afternoon, then rain, high 74. Rain early tonight, clearing by morning, low 56 degrees. Mostly sunny Saturday and Sunday with a high around 70. We are Tampa Bay's only option for talking sports 24-7. This is WTAE on air and streaming live on the free iHeartRadio app. Download it now guys are pissed about how this has gone on and and you know i think we're over looking the fact too that we lost the defenseman early in the game and so now the guys have to you know basically play the last two periods with five back there and and uh and i thought they did a heck of a job but now it's you know maybe it's time for us to get on the road and be together here well they're gonna have to do something that's john cooper the head coach of your tampa bay lightning after their latest loss three straight losses all at home by the way in this three-game losing streak the lightning have allowed 18 goals at home pitiful and it's the same problems that we've seen really the last couple of years turnovers guys get caught out of position that vasilevsky does not look like the Vasilevsky that were, you know, obviously, we and we've been spoiled, right? Because Andre Vasilevsky, for the most part, the last several years, has been the best goalie in the world. And when you set the bar that high, if you don't come close to that, you know, everyone's going to notice. So I don't know if it's the back procedure or the play in front of him. I think it might be a combination of both. He's got a lot of mileage, Ronnie, obviously, but... I just don't have a great vibe about this Lightning team right now. Look, they're clinging to the final playoff spot. The so, last wild card spot in the East. Yeah. So they and they'll they're up by five points. So I mean, no one's necessarily breathing down their neck. But if they keep playing the way they're playing, you know, yes, that spot will be in danger. I think they need help on that second line, and he's been mixing up the lines. Nothing's working, man. I mean, after that nine to two drubbing. He's uh, changed up the lines a couple of times, and it's not working. So they need some help. So the trade deadline is, what, two weeks from today? So your boy, Julian Brisebois, mm-hmm. how do you say his last name? Brisebois. Brisebois. Uh, is going to have to try and find. They've got like $8.5 million in salary cap room there with Sergey being, you know, on injured reserve. So if they can find... Maybe another center for the second line. I don't know where you're going to find him, an experienced center. Or if you can get a left-handed shot defenseman to replace Sergei, Sergei, that might help. They need help. And I don't know if a second line center is going to cure all their problems because, again, they're having problems with giving the puck away. They're having problems with allowing, you know, grade-A scoring chances. And Vasilevsky does not look like the Vasilevsky that we all know and love. By the way, okay, yesterday, remember yesterday on uh, Let It Ride? Yeah. We were talking about who's going to score the first goal for the Lightning. Oh, yeah. Wow. Brandon Hagel. Yeah. You got it, man. Now, wow. un- unfortunately, they were down two to nothing, and that was uh, early in the second period. But Hagel continues to have a fantastic season. I know he scored one. Nick Nick Paul had a tremendous goal, you know, flying in around the right side. He was able to score a goal as well. 
you know, the Lightning battled back. I mean, they were down 3-1. They tied it up at 3, and then, you know, in the last five minutes, I mean, just play broke down a couple of times, and, you know, Sandin scored the goal, and then there was an empty netter after that. Just well, not boy, good. Hagel was a part of, well, he was a part of the first comeback because they had two comebacks. Like you said, it was 2 to nothing when he scored. And then they got down 3-1, to one and they came back from that. But Cooper's right. You can't give up four goals, man. You give up four goals, you're going to lose. 18 More goals. They've given up 18 of them, Ronnie. And, and, of course, there was the nine-goal outburst by the Florida Panthers that took place a couple of days ago. It was on Saturday. That was a game I know you were thinking about going to. I'm so glad I didn't. It was a miserable day here, <laughs> by the way, too. After Fan Fest, it was raining cats and dogs. It was cold. And I said, you know what? I'm going to make an executive decision. I'm headed to the house, man, and watch the game. And then, you know, that was uh, that was not pleasant to watch. I was watching a movie, let's say, about halfway through that game. Yeah, that's probably a better choice <laughs> than watching the Lightning right about now. But, but if they could get a left-handed shot defenseman, you know, at the trade deadline, maybe. Um, I don't think they're they're keen on getting rentals. They like to have somebody they can have for a year or two. I think a defenseman is what they need. I know a lot of people are looking for maybe more scoring depth, but I think the scoring's fine. They need to stop other teams stop the bleeding man. from doing what they're doing and allowing these scoring chances and these shots on goal and putting Vasilevsky certainly in precarious situations. And you heard John Cooper mention, maybe going on the road is something that maybe jump starts their season. They have to go up north in the I-95 corridor. Uh, they're playing the Islanders on Saturday, and then on Sunday, two afternoon games, by the way. Well, remember, right after the All-Star break, they were a disaster up there. Well, losing to the Islanders, and who else was it? They lost to, was it the Rangers or the Devils? I think it was the Rangers. It the Rangers was, it was are the Rangers. playing really well right now. It was the Rangers, and then it was the Islanders. They lost both games. Yeah, it was not good. Right after the All-Star break, you call that one, though. You go, oh, man, they're going well, and now the All-Star break, and boom, they I, came out flat. Now I, they get to do it this weekend. They get to get revenge on those two teams. I, I hated the All-Star break when it, when it fell because the Lightning were playing great hockey, and then the All-Star break completely destroyed any momentum they had. So they have three games up there at the Islanders Saturday, 2 o'clock. Sunday at the Devils at 1 o'clock, so a couple of afternoon affairs, and then Whoa. at Philadelphia on Tuesday, so three-game road trip. So Sunday's games, at well, there's some pretty good TV watching on Sunday. I don't know what the weather's going to be like here, but, you know, you got USF at noon mm -hmm. against SMU, and I think the Rays have their first telecast of the spring on Sunday at 1 o'clock. They do, but their first spring training game is tomorrow, which you can hear right here at 1 o'clock between the Rays and the Atlanta Braves. And speaking of which, can the Rays get to the playoffs for a sixth consecutive year? Who needs to step forward in order for that to take place? What about the rest of the American League East? So many questions. We'll get some answers from our guy, Neil Solons from Rays Radio. He will join us coming up next. A new season. Swing and a blast to deep left through the wind. New players. And gone. And new dirty water dogs at the concession stand. It's spring, spring training. Train. And we've got the latest from around the league. The breaking stories. The latest on player moves and injuries. Plus all those juicy rumors. Tune in and get your fill. This is the home of the Rays. 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. Did you know the most successful teams always have a game plan and they stick to it? So it makes sense, of course, to have a successful retirement. You've got to stick to it. You've got to prepare. And it's got to be a written strategy. Hi, this is Steve Holland. Call us here at the Holland Group Retirement Wealth Advisors for your written retirement plan. 727-228-6449. That's 727-228-6449. Death is the only punishment here. Coming this February, FX's Shogun. My master asks, what do you seek here? To vanquish our common enemies. Based on the global bestseller by James Clavell. War is coming. The epic saga of war, passion, and power. Let it come. FX's Shogun, February 27th on Hulu. 
If you only have a 401k, you're not getting the most for retirement. Wait, what? Add a Robinhood IRA on top, then they'll boost it by 3%. You can do that? And if you transfer in any retirement account, you get 3% on top of that. Is there a limit to the match? No limit. Robinhood Gold gets you the biggest contribution match of any IRA on the market. Sign up for Robinhood Gold at Robinhood.com slash boost by April 30th. Subscription fees apply. Investing involves risk. 3% match requires gold for one year from first match. Must keep IRA for five years. Match on transfers subject to additional terms and conditions. Robinhood Financial LLC, member SIPC. When's the best time to plant a tree? It was 20 years ago. When's the second best time to plant a tree? It's now. I'm Jeff Jr. with Trajan Wealth, and I remember years ago being sent home from elementary school with a small tree in a styrofoam cup. I know some of you can relate. If that was planted, it's now bigger than you are. Your finances are the same way. The best time to get started, or the best time to get a second opinion, is now. And with time and patience, imagine how big your financial tree could be. 20 years ago, if you invested $1,000 in Apple stock, it could be worth over $500,000 today. That is a big tree. Do that for you, and do that for someone you love. Call Trajan Wealth today and help us help you plant that financial tree. Call 813-550-1000. That's 813-550-1000. Or visit TrajanWealth.com. Advisory services offered through Trajan Wealth LLC, an SEC-registered investment advisor. As America's largest injury firm, we have advantages few others do. Our results and reputation are well known to the other side, and we have a track record of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and winning big. But what does that mean for you? What does that mean for your case? I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. One of the things we are most proud about is that we set up our firm so that your case gets lots of attention from a lot of people. Our technology and army of lawyers give us insight and oversight into every detail and every moment of your case. Paralegals, legal assistants, investigators, buildings with boxes of evidence, every resource carefully designed to get you the most possible. And at Morgan & Morgan, we even have a dedicated team to make sure that your calls are returned that very same day. Injured, dial pound law. That's pound 529. All law firms are not the same. There's only one Morgan & Morgan. ForThePeople.com. Injured? Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Hey, O's fans, the Orioles are back in Sarasota for 2024 spring training at Ed Smith Stadium. Single game tickets are on sale now. Don't miss out on the action beginning Saturday, February 24th through Saturday, March 23rd. Grab your favorite giveaways and take part in special events, including Senior Stroll the Bases, presented by Sunway Senior Living Concierge. Cheer on the O's as they get ready for the 2024 season. Buy tickets now at Orioles.com slash spring. Hi, Benny Jr. here with Bartow Ford. It's been a wild ride the last couple years in the automotive industry. Inventory numbers are back, but guess what? That means dealerships are up to their old gimmicks and games. Whether it's a price leader or a bait and switch, dealerships haven't learned what Bartow Ford's known all along. A great price and the best service is all you need. On your next vehicle purchase, make sure you come to Bartow Ford where we're different and we prove it. Tax Talk with Straight Talk. You give and you give. This tax season you get with Straight Talk Wireless. You get a reliable 5G network and unlimited data and a new Samsung Galaxy A15 for just $99. So you can give your janky phone to your kid. Yeah. Good talk. Switch to Straight Talk for plans starting as low as $25 a line per month for four lines. Find us at Walmart and StraightTalk.com. For network management practices, visit StraightTalk.com. Device offer ends 41424. In-store activation on single silver unlimited plan or higher required. Family plan discount with four lines all on the silver unlimited plan. Taxes and fees apply. Go to Mark's Spain.com to get a guaranteed offer on your home today and start packing. Get ready for our 2024 iHeart Podcast Awards presented by the Hartford live at South by Southwest. March 11th, we'll honor the very best in podcasting from the past year and you'll help decide who wins podcast of the year. Vote now at iHeartPodcastAwards.com. YouTube is the streaming partner of the 2024 iHeart Podcast Awards and we'll be honoring Rotten Mango with the Innovator Award presented by YouTube. Tune in live Monday, March 11th at 9 p.m. Eastern on iHeartRadio's YouTube channel. You won't want to miss this. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios. 
This is Tampa Bay's home for the best Bolts coverage all season long. We are 620 WTAE St. Petersburg, 95.3 FM W237CW Pinellas Park, 95.7 HD3 WBTP Clearwater, 96.7 FM W224BE Brandon. Streaming live on the free iHeartRadio app. Listen for all your music, sports, talk, and podcasts. Free never sounded so good. It's Friday. Get in, we gotta go fast now. Come on, let's go, you guys. From Tarpon Springs to Ruskin and all around Tampa Bay, plus worldwide on iHeartRadio. It's time for the best sports conversation on your ride home. Welcome to the Ronnie and T Crash Show. On 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Taj has very much looked the part, just continuing to mature, continuing to understand, you know, how his stuff plays best at the major league level. Um, And another one where a couple days ago, his last bullpen, you know, the the chatter was that's as good of a bullpen as we've ever seen out of Taj across the board. The breaking ball, the change up. A great start for the youngster, Taj Bradley. That race starting rotation will be the focal point. That is Eric Neander, the race president of baseball operations. He joined us the other day. Spring training is underway. The regular season right around the corner. The spring training opener, in fact, is tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock right here on your home for race baseball. We are WDAE. Welcome back, Ronnie and T. Kras, 405 on hour number two of our program with Chris Mathis also along for the ride. Your calls and texts coming up. Mailbag coming up in the next hours. We'll take you all the way up until 7 o'clock. So, who is on the spot on this Rays team? Who needs to step forward in order for this team to make it to the postseason for the sixth straight year? Let's get some answers right now on the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network DA Hotline. Learn more at cfbhn.org. The great Neil Solons from Rays Radio is with us here on the Ronnie and T. Crash Show. What's going on, Neil? How are you, bud? Good. How are you? Thanks for having me on. I really appreciate it. Yeah, you got to be looking forward to the first radio broadcast of the season tomorrow as the spring games begin. What are you most looking forward to about this edition of the Rays? I mean, I, I think, Franny, it's going to be very similar to the last and that it's going to be athletic and a fun team to watch. And I'm looking forward, in, in terms of the spring, to just learning some of the new guys and, and getting a real good feel for them um, and also seeing how some of the younger players are going to be given more of a lane to you know, have an opportunity this year, just how they start out of the gate. Well, it's going to be important because I think the rest of this division got stronger in the offseason. We'll get into that in a matter of moments. But let's talk about pitching because the Rays have an abundance of it. Hopefully they're going to get some injured guys back a little bit later on. But you heard Eric Neander talk about Taj Bradley. Ryan Pepio came over in the Tyler Glass now trade. So give us your thoughts on these two youngsters and what kind of ceiling do you think they have? That's. I mean, they, they both have a really high ceiling. Um, you know, whether they both reach that ceiling or, or come close to that ceiling this year or next year. I mean, that's always hard to say. I don't think as much pressure, I mean, needs to be put on either of those guys. I'm sure they'll put their own internal pressure, but I mean, you go back to last year and what only one guy made more than 21 starts. You know, I I pretty much figure that the Rays are going to use a lot of different starters, Kyle Snyder and Kevin Cash in the front office will do a great job of putting guys in a position where they have a chance to succeed. Um, and we'll probably end up seeing 30, 35 pitchers before the season's done, as we've seen the last couple of years. And hopefully they just put them in a position where they end up with a lot of wins as they've done the last several years. Neil, one guy who could be sort of like an X factor this year is Shane Boz. What are you hearing about him and his rehab and how the Rays plan on working him in at some point this season? I mean, it sounds like, you know, and, and, and I listened to your interview with, with Eric the other day and, and I, you know, chatted with a lot of folks is that um, they're going to be smart in how they utilize him and, and he's 100% healthy. Um, but that said, he hasn't pitched much in the last two years, so it sounds like they're going to limit his innings early so that they can't or they don't have to limit his innings later in the year. And that makes a whole lot of sense. You know, you go back to the days of, you know, when the Nationals had a guy like Steven Strasburg and they came to the end of the season and they were figuring out, okay, how do we, what do we do now? We're already in his innings limit. And 
you know, I figure that the goal here has always been for this group to go as deep as they can, not only be good in the regular season, but be really good in the postseason. So, you know, I would think that Shane's got a chance to just like Taj and Ryan to be very good starting pitchers at this level. And it's a matter of, you know, how he acclimates himself and how he continues to grow and adjust. But both, all, all three of those guys have high end talent. I don't think there's any question. We're talking Rays with Neil Solons of Rays Radio here on Ronnie and T. Kraz, the spring training opener tomorrow, the Rays and the Braves, and you can listen to that game right here on your home for Rays baseball all season long, WDAE. So let's talk about this infield, Neil, and it is crowded all over, especially at shortstop. Very interesting position. Obviously, Wanda Franco's an afterthought. Ahmed Rosario, I thought, was a really good pickup for one and a half million. A guy who's got some pretty good athleticism, could steal some bases, got some pop in his bat. He can play some different positions. You have Oslavis Basabi there and a couple of other guys who are vying for some at bats. But how would you break down the shortstop position with this team? And who do you think is the opening day starter? Well, I don't know who's pitching on the other side, but I would still guess you know, because the Rays do play a lot of matchups, but I would, I would still think that, you know, they said that Jose Caballero has a chance to be your, your regular shortstop at the beginning of the year. And I would think he's going to get the opportunity to do that. I, I would think that I also agree with you that Ahmed Rosario was a really good addition, especially, you know, what, what they got him for. And just chatting with some of my friends in Cleveland, you know, what a great clubhouse guy he is, how hard a worker he is, what an energy guy he is. And I've heard similar from the folks in Seattle about Caballero. So, you know, I would think that, that Jose, from a defensive standpoint, probably gets more starts. And I don't think Taylor Walls is as far off as, um, you know, some, some have said. I mean, he could be back the end of April or early May. Um, and then let's see where we are then. But I would think those those three guys between Caballero and Rosario and Walls probably this year would get, you know, a significant portion of the starts at shortstop. Um, and, and I think, you know, they all bring something different, um, but all of them are athletic and can run. And, um, you know, I think we'll be good fits for, for the Rays overall. Neil Solons from Rays Radio is joining us. They have their first broadcast of the spring coming up tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock from Port Charlotte down at Charlotte Sports Park, which is completely being redone, just about $17 million dollars in repairs after Hurricane Ian. So, Neil, I'm sure you're looking forward to calling the game there. The you know We talked to, I think it was Eric, and also who else did we talk to that talked about the additions to the ballpark and the improvements of the ballpark uh, that it looks uh, almost brand new right yeah, now. Yeah, Andy Freed, yeah. That's Andy, yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, the, the, you know, in, in, especially when you consider, you know, first of all, it's great to be down there um, because I know – how many individuals, how many families, you know, suffered so much loss and are still probably dealing with that for, for many homes. So I I know it's great for us to be there for that community um, because they certainly have been there for us. And then, you know, beyond that, um, this has been our home um, for every year, but one since 2009. So, you know, it's always great down there to chat with the fans um, to, to just, you know, be in that area and allow our players to kind of get comfortable with one another before they get started on hopefully another playoff run. So a lot of reasons to be excited to be back down uh, in Port Charlotte again. And, and I, I was there for a few workouts this week, and I agree 100% with Andy. I mean, it looks brand new again, uh, and I'm excited to get things kicked off tomorrow. So from what you've seen so far, is there one guy that's really caught your eye like, okay, this guy looks like he's about ready to bust through and have a breakout type of season? Is that too early to say for anybody? I think it is because we haven't seen game action. And even when we get to spring training game action, the, the, they're probably, other than health, there are probably three things I look at when I look at spring training games. Um, one is pitchers throwing strikes. I think strike throwing carries over. Two is athleticism and, and team speed on the bases. And then three is defense, because I think no matter how you're playing defense in spring training, I think if you're playing it well, it carries over. Usually you're playing that at full speed. The way pitchers approach a hitter and the way hitters are going into their approach in spring training is vastly different. It's really the last week where I try and really hone in on whether guys seem like they're locked in for the start of the regular season. And then there are some guys who are just notoriously either fast or or slow starters. So, you know, it's really the, the marathon that kind of determines who's, who's legit. But I mean, 
from a young player standpoint, I am anxious to see a first spring with Junior Camonero. Um, you know, I'm anxious to see Jonathan Aranda now that he's been told he's going to get playing time at the big league level more than likely after two years where he's dominated AAA. Those are probably two offensive players. And you've touched on some pitchers. And then one I would add to it, and I don't know if he has a chance to break camp with the group, but um, I know he has a big arm, and that's a kid named Manny Rodriguez who they got from the Cubs at the trading deadline last year, who I think at some point this year could help out of the bullpen. No doubt about that. We're on the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network DA hotline. Learn more at cfbhn.org. Neil Solons from Rays Radio is joining us. Renee Pinto is going to be the catcher for the Rays, get the bulk of the work. I guess we'll all find out together in spring training and when they head north to begin the regular season, who's going to be the backup. But your confidence in Renee Pinto now, I was saying I was a little concerned about this, but I realized that the catcher, I mean, that the manager, Kevin Cash, was a catcher. So I think he knows what good catching looks like. Yeah. <laughs> I, I trust him and I trust her front office. And, you know, Renee caught the bulk of the games down the stretch last year. And this team, what, from mid-August on after Wonder was gone in the regular season, were 28 and 14. They won two-thirds of those games. And Renee caught a lot of them. And I know talking to the members of the pitching staff, they have a lot of confidence in Renee. Um, you know, is he going to catch 90, 100, 110 games? I, I don't know. Um, but I think when, you know, he's got, he's got the ability to receive well, call a game well, um, you know, listens well to his pitching staff and has a fair amount of power too. So I think that's a pretty good base. Um, and, and I think generally when the Rays give a young player that opportunity, there's a lot of trust and belief, and they do a wonderful job building confidence. And I think that'll grow as as the season goes, as I thought it did last September for him. And in terms of the backup, look, we saw two years ago, the Rays got Harold Ramirez in mid-March and then got Isak Paredes days before the regular season started. So that person may be in camp right now, um, and there are a lot of good young catchers in camp. That person may get here during camp or before the regular season. Uh, but either way, I think they'll find guys who can help this group win and um, you know, that's been their MO so far. Without question, it's a great point. Neil, last one enemy. You know the American League East. We have this conversation every year. It's always tough, and this year looks like it is tougher. The Yankees went out this offseason. They got Juan Soto. They got Marcus Stroman. The Orioles, you know, won over 100 games. They got Corbin Burns, obviously a number one, and they've got a lot of really good young talent there. Toronto's always tough. The Red Sox might be you know, in a little bit of a rebuild there, but how would you handicap this AL lease? It looks like it's tougher on paper than it was from a year ago, is it not? I think it's a bear no matter what year you're talking about. I mean, I think, you know, Baltimore is obviously got to be your number one concern because they won the division last year. They added Burns. Um, you know, they don't have Felix Batista, but they did bring Kimbrell in and they got Dylan Kate back off injury. So I'm sure their bullpen will be good. Um, I know they're also dealing with an injury to Kyle Bradish and John Means, so we'll see how they get out of the gate. But I would expect a full, if they're healthy, if there's a healthy Adley Rushman and a healthy Gunnar Henderson, they're going to be very good. You know, the Yankees, I, I think they're good, but I'm still not sure how good because I, I think if Aaron Judge is forced to play center field a lot, I think it makes him more prone to injury. Um, and we still don't know how good Rodon and Nestor Cortez are going to be this year coming off the injuries they had last season. I think they're very dependent on Soto, Judge, and, and Cole, and those guys almost have to be healthy all year for them to achieve. You know, I thought Toronto had a lot of success staying healthy last year. How sustainable that is, we'll see. I expect the Rays to be in the mix in the division, and, and I, I anticipate they're going to be another 90-ish win club again this year with a chance to be in the postseason if they're healthy. And um, you know, I, I, I kind of think that a lot of people are sleeping on this group. And if, if folks want to pick them third or fourth, sometimes I think that's where the Rays perform their best um, when uh, they've got a little bit of that extra chip on their shoulder. Well, speaking of chips on their shoulder, I think Randy Arena has one because I'm, <laughs> I don't know if you've seen him yet, but <laughs> my God, dude, I, I saw him at Fan Fest and I went, whoa, what the hell happened here? And he says he did all of that because... He simply sort of wore down in the second half last season. A lot of people were trying to attribute it to the home run hitting. Home run derby. Yeah, the yeah. home run derby. He says that was not the case. He simply lost weight and wore down, and his production wore down with that. 
Uh, I hope he can put a whole season together because a whole complete season of uh, Randy or Rosarina would be fantastic around these parts. But what are your thoughts on Randy and him bulking up like he has? I mean, he, I thought he was I thought he was somewhat bulked up last year at the beginning of the year, but obviously he took it another step um, this offseason. If it helps him perform, great. You know, look, he's been a 2020 guy three years in a row. He's been one of the more consistent players that the Rays have had, and he's proven to be extremely durable. Um, you know, if Randy is that kind of Randy, um, the Rays are going to be okay. I mean, I look at the top portion of the lineup with, with Yandi, with Randy, with Josh Lowe, with Brandon Lau, with Isak Paredes, this is a group that was, what, top three in the big leagues last year and runs scored. And, and I still think that this is a group, and Harold Ramirez is back right now too. So I mean, you're talking about most of the top six of your lineup has returned. Um, I, I think it's going to be a good lineup, and I don't think they, you know, if guys take steps forward, it's even going to make it that much more a potent group. But you know, if, if Randy is motivated to do even more, that's awesome. You can catch him tomorrow afternoon. Neil Solon's alongside Andy Freed as the Rays will open up spring training against the Atlanta Braves down in Port Charlotte. Of course, all of the action of Rays baseball can be heard right here on WDAE tomorrow afternoon, beginning at 1 o'clock. Baseball is back, Neil. We appreciate it, buddy. Let's go get him. Sounds good. Anytime, guys. And uh, looking forward to tomorrow and this weekend. Yeah, we are too. Thank you, Neil. Have a good one. The great Neil Solons. Great stuff there. Uh, really good insight. And look, he's he's pretty confident the Rays will be a 90-win team or thereabouts. And, you know, somebody was just uh, texting in, I tossed 200 bucks down on the Rays winning over 84 and a half on the Hard Rock app. What do you guys think? Is, is, is it a smart move? They always seem to exceed expectations when – People are down. Now, last year, I think there were also 84 and a half, and I thought that that was an absolute lock. The over on the win total, I felt real confident about it. But that's when you had a, shame, a healthy Shane McClanahan. And look, for the first three months of the season, the guy was lights out. He was the best pitcher in baseball. And then the Rays kind of faded in the second half there and in the playoff series, and we were both there for that one against Texas. Brutal. Was, it was bad. It was just really? bad. I mean, they made four errors in game number one to totally unraise. And then they get like... to the playoffs and they play like clowns. <laughs> they, exactly. they were playing like clowns, especially that first game. I was like, I'm out of here, man. <laughs> yeah, I, this I, is awful. This was bad. But, uh, you know, always, always some great stuff out of Neil Solons, and hopefully the Rays can stay healthy. And Look, pitching is where it's at. I think offensively they'll be okay. Can they get enough from their pitching staff in order for them to – Win 88 to 90 games. That's going to be the big question. All right, your calls and texts are coming up. Matthew, hold on. You'll be up first when we return. Guys, injury, accident, product liability, medical malpractice. My guys over at Catania, Catania, the personal injury law firm located right here in Tampa Bay. They've been doing their thing more than three decades. They don't get paid unless you get paid. $500 million plus has been recovered by my guys for injury victims just like you. So protect your rights. These are the guys you need to call. 813-222-8545. That's 813-222-8545. Or hit them up online at CatanyCatania.com to get that free evaluation of your case. Because over at Catania Catania, they put families first. Office Tampa, not attorney spokesman. All right, on the way back, your thoughts on the Rays. Over or under 84 and a half wins? 888-546-4620. Also on the way back, big news today in the NFL, and the Buccaneers were very happy to hear it. More money, more money, more money. It doesn't mean more problems. It means more solutions. We'll explain next. Watch the magic unfold. Your favorite WDAE shows, Ronnie and T-Crass, Pat and Aaron, J and Z are now live on YouTube. Search WDAE on YouTube. Like and subscribe for a front row seat to the Sports Talk Spectacle. Live and in living color. WDAE on YouTube. Like and subscribe. From the Whatever It Takes, Moss Nissan Traffic Center. WDAE Traffic Update. Increasing traffic in all the usual spots, including on northbound 275 from the Howard Franklin Bridge through downtown Tampa. Also, we're seeing delays on northbound 75 from the Summit Expressway towards I-4 and eastbound I-4 near I-75. A crash in Tampa, westbound Fowler Avenue near Nebraska, eastbound Hillsboro near Anderson, and in Pinellas County, southbound Seminole Boulevard at Park. 
with traffic. I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Wendy's. When you think Wendy's Biggie Bag, think your go-to meal deal. Because with your choice of JBC or crispy chicken sandwich, plus four-piece nugs, junior fries, and a small soft drink, Biggie hits every time. So grab a Wendy's Biggie Bag today. U.S. price and participation may vary. Third-party delivery pricing may be higher. Hungry Howie's Pepperoni Duo is a large pizza smothered with old-world cupped pepperoni and original pepperoni. Try it with our newest flavored crust, Southwest Ranch. Only $9.99 and both for a limited a time at Hungry Howie's. February 29th. February 29th is your last chance to get the best F-150 deal ever at Brandon Ford. We're blowing out F-150s at an incredible pace, but we still have so many of these leftover 2023s. Now, these leftovers may not be exactly the color you're looking for or have exactly the equipment you like, but man, are we discounting them. 30 of these trucks, at least 12,000 off the sticker. Save thousands more with rates like 1.9% for 72 months. Even new 2023 F-150 Lightnings are up to 15 grand Grand off sticker with rates as low as 3.9% for 60 months. We don't know when Brandon Ford will ever be able to offer these deals again or give you more for your truck trade-in, but we do know that February 29th is coming up fast. So you have to hurry. So you have to hurry. Because the F-150 objective ends soon at Brandon Ford. Highway 60 and 301 in Tampa and at BrandonFord.com. The largest volume F-Series dealer in America. Wake up. Breakfast. And Nature Made Vitamins. Whatever your morning sounds like, Nature Made fits right in. Whether you're looking for vitamin C or a multivitamin to get key nutrients, we've got you covered. Now that's a good morning. We take care of you so you can take on your day. Start your day with Nature Made, the number one pharmacist recommended vitamin and supplement brand. Based on a survey of pharmacists who recommend branded vitamins and supplements. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Today, we're the largest injury firm in the world, and I'm thankful to you for trusting us all these years. We'll always be here for the people, not the powerful. We'll always be here for you. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors. Visit TrajanWealth.com. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial-free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Alternative Rewind, where all rock began. R.E.M., The Cure, Depeche Mode, Pretenders, Talking Heads, and more. Just open the free iHeartRadio app, search Alternative Rewind, and listen now. iHeartRadio, free never sounded so good. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Windy tonight with increasing clouds this afternoon, then rain, high 74. Rain early tonight, clearing by morning, low 56 degrees. Mostly sunny Saturday and Sunday with a high around 70. This report is sponsored by Mattress Warehouse of Tampa. Save up to 70% at Mattress Warehouse today and sleep better tonight, knowing you got the best possible price. So where would you look to find the perfect mattress? In a little mattress store or mattress warehouse? Visit mattresswarehouse.com. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, this is Tampa Bay Sports Radio. 95.3 WDAE and AM620. But if you want to you be honest, you know, uh, I go, I got to go Mike Evans, my boy Mike. <laughs> Mike is, you know, I love Mike, man. Man, Mike has a all have an awesome relationship, man. And just the way I seen Mike grow from his rookie year to now, as a as a football player, as a man, and then just understanding like how he carries himself. That is Levante David, the great one from our show yesterday, and I put him in the GM seat. I said, "You're the GM, Levante. Who's the first free agent you're locking up?" And he said. Mike Evans, no question about it. That's the guy, future Hall of Famer, 1,200-plus yards receiving, tied the NFL lead with 13 touchdown catches. He would be the first guy that I would lock up. Welcome back. Ronnie and T. Kraz, 428 on your ride home on a Friday. You made it to the end of the week. Time to get wild and crazy on the show. Coming up in about an hour, you freaking people. The mailbag is coming your way as we'll take you all the way up. Until 7 o'clock, 888-546-4620. So some great news for the Bucks and every team in the NFL. A somewhat of a surprising announcement by the National Football League, as they said today, that 
the salary cap is going up more than $30 million. That's 3-0. It's going to be at a shade over $255 million in 2024. Obviously, the influx of revenues coming in from streaming services, the TV contracts, and everything else. So they are adding that money to the salary cap, which means every team will have $30 million more in the bank to spend on re-signing their own guys, going out there, signing unrestricted free agents. So the Bucks will have more room and more money to play with as they have to figure out who they're going to bring back. So this is big. This gives them a better chance to bring back their top free agents. It really does. All of them, to be exact. And obviously there are the rumors that Antoine Winfield Jr. is going to be franchise tagged. That number has gone up from 16.2 to 17.1. Uh, say that again. Yeah, and Jason, you are well aware that he's more than likely going to be franchise tagged. I mean, if they can avoid it, if they can come up with a long-term deal for him that he and his people are happy with, they will certainly avoid that. But they've got other ways of creating some room under the cap. There are players that they're thinking about moving on from. They can move on from those players. They can restructure contracts. They can restructure Vita Veas. They can restructure, you know, they were talking about restructuring one of the cornerbacks or moving on from a cornerback. That That's some of the rumors, and we talked about that well, in the first hour. Oof is right, and yeah. I think one of those guys, Ronnie's in trouble. I think Carlton Davis or Jamel Dean won't be here next year because you're talking about two guys who both make a lot of money, two guys who both have missed quite a few games. Carlton Davis has missed 15 games in the last three years. That's a lot of games for the kind of money he's making. So I think the Bucks will have to make a very big decision there and a tough decision too. The emergence of Zion McCollum also gives the Buccaneers a younger, cheaper guy to slot in that corner. I think he was maybe the most improved player this year for the Buccaneers. I don't think there's any question about it. I would say Zion McCollum was the most improved player, hands down. He was, and they're looking for him to build on that performance from a year ago. Another player's contract they could renegotiate is uh, Chris Godwin. So there are a number of ways for them to get that extra money that they need. One texter made a very good point. Uh, I don't see the text up there. It's moved on from that one. But he said, hell, man, the Saints are like $100 million over every year, and they work it out okay. They do. And what they do, Ronnie, is they kick the can down the road, yep. and they're doing it again because they just restructured the contract of Derek Carr, which is going to give them about $23 million in cap space. I like $80 million over until the news of the NFL salary cap going up $30 million. So that's going to help them quite a bit, and they're going to restructure some contracts too along the way. Also, the retirement of Ryan Jensen will give the Buccaneers some salary cap relief. You mentioned Chris Godwin entering the final year, making $20 million. So, if I were the Bucs, I would approach him if they haven't done so already, not just for restructuring, but how about a contract extension? You could lower that number, you can sign him up for three more years and keep Chris Godwin here for at least the foreseeable future. Now, I think he's going to have to probably take less than $20 million if he wants to stick around. That's just going to be my two cents worth. So I think that could be a very interesting negotiation because they have to re-sign Mike. And we know Mike is going to make a hell of a lot more than $20 million a year. So I think if they want to keep Mike and Chris together, Chris is probably going to have to take a little bit less on a long-term deal, maybe with some more guaranteed money attached to it. I think that's how you approach that. Jason, I could go to him and say, look, we want to bring Mike Evans back. You're in the final year of a contract. We paid you $20 million a year, and you know, you've been good. There's no question, but now we've got some tough decisions to make. I think we want you around for three more years. Let's say we do three more years at... $15 million a year, three for 45 and maybe we can guarantee you, you know, 20 to $25 million. So there are ways to do that, to throw him some more guaranteed money and lower his annual salary per year. So there's a lot of ways to do it. The Bucks have some smart people who are figuring this out. Mike Greenberg is smart, the assistant GM. Jason Light is smart. Jackie Davidson, they have a bunch of smart people in that front office, John Spitek. They got a lot of guys in that front office who know what they're doing, unlike us. Yeah, and they will, they will figure this all out. I think that the salary cap went up more than we all expected is a good thing for the Bucks, a good thing for all the teams, but I think it's certainly going to help the Bucks. 
bring back their own free agents, which we were very concerned about. Primarily, Mike Evans is the main guy we were concerned about, and I think this is going to help them get that job done. So yesterday on the show, you said your percentages of Evans coming back 60-40. Correct. Do they go up a little bit after the news today that the salary cap is going to be even more than we all anticipated? Uh, I'm staying at 60-40. And here's why. Because these other teams, and look, if you want to know what Mike's market is going to look like, he's not going to get the franchise tag. Antoine Winfield's probably going to get it at $17.1 million. Now we know what that number looks like. If T. Higgins gets the franchise tag, and if Michael Pittman gets it, Mike Evans by far is the number one receiver. And now all these other teams, Ronnie, have even more money to play with to throw at Mike potentially. If he gets into the open market, I think it's even more dangerous now than it was 24 hours ago because these teams now have more money to play with to throw at a guy like Mike Evans. So I'm going to stay at 60-40. I don't think it goes up from there. And look, here's the bottom line, and Rick Stroud alluded to this yesterday. The Bucks could have taken care of Mike last year. I think Mike was upset at the fact that they set a deadline and the Bucks did really nothing about it. That Saturday before the game at Minnesota, the season opener, they did not even come close to what Mike was looking for. And I think Mike was a little perturbed by that. He's like, okay, you want to see something? I'm about to show you something else, all right? I'm going to show you what a Hall of Famer looks like. And he goes out there, 1,200-plus yards, 13 touchdowns. He ties for the NFL lead. And now that number, Ronnie, is even higher. They could have taken care of Mike last year for less money. Now it's going to cost them more money. To well, resign them. As per Rick Stroud, I believe that Jason Light and Greenberg and company wanted to get something done, but I think they were vetoed by ownership. Uh, they wanted to wait to what? see how the season was going to play out. Come on. It's sort of the same thing that happened with uh, Steven Stamkos. Julian Breesbaugh goes, I got to see how everything plays out before I can give you a contract extension. Well, the Lightning are really tight up against the cap. Now the Bucks have more breathing room, but I, yeah. I don't know if Mike is going to be too happy about that. I mean, you well, know, are you is, professional or is, not? I don't know. <laughs> is that going to overrule him wanting to mess up his relationship with Jason Light and, you know, mess up the relationship that he has and the bond he has with Baker Mayfield, knowing well, that Baker Mayfield is back. Well, he's, he's, he's already said he wants to tire, retire here. So, I, And I believe know, him. I believe and, him when he says it. And Dan Patrick brought up a good point, too. He said, well, Baker, would you take less in order to allow Mike Evans to remain with the Buccaneers? He goes, yeah, there's got to be some give and take there. We, we want to be together as teammates again next season. And I think that would be an enticement for Mike. If they get a deal done with Baker soon, and if I were the Buccaneers, I'd move on that now. I would re-sign Baker as soon as I can for $30 million a year, perhaps even more than that. You know, Rick was mentioning $35, $36 million a year. That is the average salary, believe it or not, for a veteran starting quarterback, and I think that's the number his agent will use against the Buccaneers in these contract talks. But according to Rick Stroud, those contract talks preliminary have begun with Baker Mayfield and his agent. I would move quickly to try and get Baker in the fold, and then that would be an enticement to Mike. They could go to Mike and say, look, we got Baker back. We got a little bit more money to play with. Okay, here's going to be our offer. And look, I, I don't think Mike is the kind of guy who's going to hold too many grudges. He loves it here. He wants to be here. And I think if the money's comparatively close to what he can get out there in the open market, if it's a little bit less, no state income tax, Mike understands that. He's a very smart guy. If the numbers are close, even a little bit less, I think Mike is going to stay here. But now that the cap number has increased exponentially, these other teams that want Mike Evans, the Chiefs, Ronnie, now have more money to play with. If they can get Chris Jones taken care of and Legereus Sneed, there's no question they're going to throw the boat at Mike Evans. Yeah, but don't you feel that all the things that you just mentioned about Mike Evans and Jason Light and the relationship that those two have, I mean, he was, Mike was Jason's first ever draft pick for the Bucks, and I think that's going to mean a lot when it comes down to it. And Mike wants to go where he has some continuity, Oof. and he certainly has it here. But if someone 
the thing is, the Bucks cannot allow him to get to a uh, free, uh, to open free agency to where other teams can really throw money at him. That's well, that, that's the whole key to me. And and that that is my contention because he's not going to get the franchise tag in all likelihood unless by some miracle they come up with a long term deal for Antoine Winfield, and then they get a deal done with Baker. They're not going to use the franchise tag on Baker at thirty eight million. That is the number now for quarterbacks. If they can get those two guys locked up, then maybe they do secure Mike with a franchise tag. But that's going to cost them $28 million. That's a lot of money. Now, they have more money to play with, yes. But I think, Ronnie, barring some unforeseen set of circumstances, Mike Evans is going to make it to the open market. And I think that's a dangerous proposition. I think the Buccaneers are playing with fire there because if Mike makes it, just think if you're Mike Evans, okay? And I know we're up against the break. I think I might save this for the next segment. Yeah, I'll save it. I'm going to save it. All right, because I'm going to tell you exactly what's going to happen that very first day, the, the non-tampering period. <laughs> the 11th. Yeah, whatever it is, two days before the start of the new league year. I'm going to tell you exactly what Mike Evans is going to experience that first non-tampering day. That's coming up. Matthew and Tommy, we see those phone calls there. Guys, if you're looking outside, it's gorgeous. This is why we live here in Tampa Bay. This is the time of year where spring has sprung. Baseball, you want to be able to get out for a bike ride, hit the links maybe, go to the beach. But maybe your back or your knee is still bogging you down. You have arthritic pain, pain from an old injury. Stop all that right now. Why live your life in agony? Call my guys over at QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in regenerative medicine. I'm talking lasting joint pain relief with no drugs, no surgery, no downtime. It's a fact. QC Kinetics is literally transforming lives. Like me. I had a bad elbow two years ago. Boom. Dr. Zuckerman says, we'll fix you right up. And he was right. He did. Dr. Zuckerman and his team of professionals also fix up my knee. I played basketball last night for the first time in a month, and I played pretty well. And I'm telling you, I have minimal soreness today, so I feel awesome. And I have Dr. Zuckerman and the people over at QC Kinetics to thank for all that. Yelena, Haley, they are awesome. I love them. Pro athletes have also been using this method, and so should you guys. No pain pills, no risky surgery. Get on it. QC Kinetics is a game changer. Call them now for a free consultation, 813-305-3000. That's 813-305-3000 QC Kinetics. Locations all over the Bay Area, including Bradenton, St. Pete, Lakeland, and Brandon. Tell me, boy, Tom Krasnicki sent you. Mailback coming up in the next hour. Your phone call's coming up. What is Mike Evans' phone going to look like the first day of free agency? I'm going to tell you exactly what it's going to look like coming up next. Don't move. Just like your neighborhood butcher. Pat and Aaron get into the guts of every Tampa Bay sports story. They season it, add a starch, and make it the best damn meal you'll ever have. Now that's talent. You do seriously surprise me. Thank you, Chef. You surprise me to how sh- you are. The Pat and Aaron Show. Morning Drive on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Streaming live on Alexa and your free iHeartRadio app. WDAE Traffic Update. Including on northbound 275 from the Howard Franklin Bridge through downtown Tampa. Also, we're seeing delays on northbound 75 from the Summit Expressway towards I-4 and eastbound I-4 near I-75. A crash in Tampa, westbound Fowler Avenue near Nebraska, eastbound Hillsboro near Anderson, and in Pinellas County, southbound Seminole Boulevard at Park. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Mattress Firm. Dive into hibernation mode with a huge deal on deeper sleep during Mattress Firm's President's Day sale. Shop now and save up to $500 on select Tempur-Pedic adjustable mattress sets and receive a $300 instant gift for pillows and more. Plus, get free and fast delivery to your door. Restrictions apply. Ronnie Lane here, joined by the MVP of the Holland Group Retirement Wealth Advisors, co-founder and president, Elizabeth Holland. The one thing I love most about football is the team effort 
what it takes to win a game. All phases of the team have to work together and be at their very best to get the job done. That's what your team at the Holland Group does every day, right? Your team of advisors, led by Steve and you, puts together comprehensive retirement plans designed to preserve and grow assets while applying tax advantage strategies to make sure your clients keep every single cent they are legally entitled to. That's what I call a win. That's exactly right. And unlike most other financial firms, we do it all under one roof. This is where the Holland Group becomes your X factor and we can design a customized, inflation adjusted and tax advantage retirement plan. Nobody wins by sitting on the bench. So call the Hollands at 727-469-7939 or visit askthehollands.com. Let's make the rest of your life the best of your life. Revar Buick GMC, the number two. Wait a minute. Sorry, I said that wrong there. Revar Buick GMC, the number two. Two GMC dealer in the country. That's right. Revar Buick GMC is now the number two GMC dealer in the entire country. How'd they get there? Well, massive inventory, which means you've got options. Insane discounts you just won't see these days. Go to RevardBuickGMC.com and see for yourself. And last but not least, a staff to help you get through the car buying process start to finish. Visit RevardBuickGMC.com today. GMC. We are professional grade. When you buy a diamond at International Diamond Center, you can bring it back a year from now, trade it up to a bigger one, and get 110% of your original purchase price toward the new diamond. You pay me $10,000 for my diamond. When you come back and you want to trade it up, you're going to get that $10,000. Plus, we're going to give you a bonus of $1,000. IDC owner Keith LeClaire talking about IDC's industry-leading diamond trade-up policy. So you're getting 110% on what you paid for that diamond. Who else does this? I'm going to pay you more for that diamond than you paid me in the beginning. The 110% upgrade is just another thing that separates IDC from the rest. We stand behind what we sell. We know what we're selling, we believe in what we're selling, and we know the inherent value of that diamond. At IDC, your trust means everything. We want you to feel that you can buy with confidence. International Diamond Center. Highest quality, insane selection, guaranteed best value, full transparency, and the strongest consumer protection warranties in the industry. Our job is to keep you as a customer. International Diamond Center. Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota. Sell your home with a guaranteed offer from Mark Spain Real Estate. You'll save time and make the most money. Hi, this is Mark Spain, and our offers are the strongest in the industry. One of our clients, Ryan, said, we receive significantly more than our asking price and much more than we expected. I've been in business for nearly 30 years and have served over 50,000 satisfied clients, and I know what matters most, a quick sale and maximum profit. Find out what your guaranteed offer would be on your home. There's no obligation. Go to MarkSpain.com to get a guaranteed offer on your home today. That's MarkSpain.com and start packing. This report is sponsored by Pfizer. COVID-19? I don't want to risk missing work. I booked an appointment for this season's updated COVID-19 shot designed to help protect against recent variants. Learn about a vaccine option and book your COVID-19 shot on ScheduleCovidVax.com. Sponsored by Pfizer. It's been a mostly sunny afternoon with a high around 70 and high winds. Gusty winds continue tonight with rain early, low 57. Clearing skies by morning, Saturday and Sunday, sunny, breezy, high 70 degrees. This is WDAE on air and streaming live right now on the free iHeartRadio app. Download it now. Yeah. All right, welcome back. Ronnie and T-Kraz on your radio, 447 on a Friday. Which means mailbag is coming up in the next hour, you freaking peoples. We'll take you up until 7 o'clock, 888-546-4620. More on the Bucks. what Mike Evans' phone is going to look like the first day of the non-tampering free agency period. But, folks, we got some breaking news, and it's good breaking news we all know that USF will take on SMU coming up on Sunday, a big game over at the Yingling Center. And courtesy of Yingling Beer, we're going to give you guys four tickets. What? Free food, what? free drink. All you have to do, Ronnie, is do what? Go to our Instagram page. It's real simple at 95.3 WDAE. That's on Instagram, peeps. Go there. Get signed up to win, and you and three of your closest friends could be going to a big game Sunday afternoon at the Yingling Center to watch USF beat up on the SMU Mustangs, hopefully. So get on it. Get to Instagram. Enter between now and midnight, and you'll be in the running for four tickets and free food, free drink to the USF-SMU game, which will take place on Sunday, courtesy of 
our friends over at Yingling Beer, and your friends here at WDAE. So get on it. That is awesome. By the way, they were talking about Jerry Palm said that the Bulls would not get an at-large bid. He just did his updated, you know, whatever he calls those things, projections for the NCAA tournament. And guess who I saw as a 12 seed? USF. Look, I don't know why people think that they're not going to make it. They're not an at-large team. Are you freaking kidding? I mean, right now they've got 20 wins. They've got some quality wins, too, against some ranked competition, including a top-10 team in Memphis on the road. And in the postseason conference tournament, unless they completely fall flat on their face, I think USF's going to end up with 25, 26 wins. And, yeah, a 12 seed, maybe an 11 seed, depending upon how well they do in the uh, uh, act tournament. I think USF is sitting pretty right now. So good luck to them against SMU on Sunday. All right, so back to Mike Evans. Now, here's Baker Mayfield. He was on the Dan Patrick Show, and he was asked, hey, would you be willing to give a little in order to get Mike back here? Here's Baker. Oh, I think there would be some sacrifices along the way. (laughs) There's there's mutual benefits for us to come back together. (laughs) Yep, there you go. Uh Uh-huh. So we'll see how this... No, no one's trying to stir anything up, Baker. Uh, We're pulling for you to get back here. We both believe that you will be back here. The question is your buddy, Mike Evans. What's it going to take to get him back? So picture this, and I was telling John Mamola this in the hallway during the break. You're Mike Evans, all right? You get to March the 11th, which is a Monday. Now, the NFL has this very silly (laughs) two-day non-tampering period where... You can start talking to free agents, but you can't sign them. You can talk. But we've seen in that 48-hour period, deals come to fruition. You can make a deal with a guy, and we've seen that happen. So Mike Evans gets to March 11th, and the Buccaneers obviously haven't locked them up. Guess what's going to happen? The phone rings. Mike Evans looks at his phone. He sees Patrick Mahomes on the other line. He picks up the phone. Yo, who dis? Hey, Mike, it's Patrick <laughs> Mahomes. How are you, buddy? Boy, listen, the reason why I'm calling is I'm, I'm looking at my hand, Mike. You know what I see when I look at my hand? I see one, two, I see three championship rings. Now, if it weren't for you and your freaking defense chasing me all <laughs> over the field, I might have had a fourth championship ring. The reason why I'm calling is I know you've got one, I've got three. How does a second championship ring sound to you, Mike Evans? You come to Kansas City, we'll get you that championship ring. And, oh, by the way, if you're looking to compare, it's me, Patrick Mahomes, you're talking to. Would you rather catch passes for me or your good buddy Baker Mayfield? That's a question that you can only answer. As Now that we're also comparing, how about you start comparing um, Andy Reid's my coach, who is your coach? Oh, so you didn't try to start some stuff. Well, well, there's no question. Right, in, I am stirring it up. But you know what? This is how players talk. All right, this is how they yeah. talk. This is how they recruit. Uh, my coach is Andy Reid. Your coach is Todd Bowles. It's Patrick Mahomes here. I've won three. Could have been a fourth. You guys gummed it up for me, but that's okay. Uh, I've gotten over it. How about you come to Kansas City and join my team? That's call number one. And then all of a sudden he gets another call. What is this? 973 Jersey. Hello, Um, Mike. It's Aaron Rodgers of the New York Jets. I just came out of my darkness retreat. Look. Darkness (laughs) retreat. You would be an absolute hit in the Big Apple. You're going to be catching passes from me. You got Garrett Wilson on the other side. You got a championship defense, kind of like the defense that you had in 2020 when you won your first Super Bowl title. You've got a ring. I got a ring. Guess what? I want a second ring. You want a second ring. How about you come to the Big Apple and you play for the New York Jets? This is why I'm calling you. Come to New York. They would love you. You're a great player on the field. You're even a greater guy off the field. This is what it's going to sound like, Ronnie. Mike Evans is going to have Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers, and other guys hitting him up when he gets to that free agent tampering period. That's why it would make me very nervous if you get to that tampering period because that's exactly what's going to happen with Mike Evans. He's going to be a very hot commodity. He will be a hot commodity, but he is also a very driven and 
calm man. So he will make decisions that are best for him and his family and what he wants to do in spite of getting calls from superstar quarterbacks. I think he'll make the decision that he feels is best for him and his family and what he wants to do. What One thing is certain. If Mike leaves Tampa Bay, it would be for an opportunity to win a Super Bowl. The Chiefs absolutely give him that opportunity. I would agree with that, yes. And the, the Jets, uh, you know, <laughs> trust me, I've been a Jet fan for, you know, going on 50 years now for as long as I've been alive. But if you put Mike Evans on the same team with Aaron Rodgers and, you know, they have to get themselves a left tackle to probably do it in the draft. They've got a top 10, top 11 pick. Uh, you put Mike Evans opposite Garrett Wilson with Brees Hall in the backfield. Aaron Rodgers comes back healthy. Their defense, we know, is legit, a top five defense. Then all of a sudden, they are a legitimate contender. So that's the danger of having Mike get to that free agent, non tampering period because some heavy hitters are going to be hitting him up. That's why it would behoove the Bucks to prevent all of that and get him and Baker done right before uh, March 11th. I, I mean, what is that, another week, week and a half? A week and a half, 10 yeah. days from now. I think they get Baker done. I don't know about Mike. Let's go to our phones. Matthew's in Valrico. He's been patiently waiting. Matthew, I appreciate you, bud. Hey, Ronnie T. Kraz, big fan, long-time listener. Um, I got two uh, comments and a question. Number one, I'm very upset about Mike Evans not being done before the season was started, uh, not in his deadline. I don't think we learned from Warren Sapp that if he's just free agency, and I'm upset that we don't uh, retain our legends. Uh, another comment, uh, this weekend we got the Elite Seven events on 54th Avenue South. Uh, 46 teams from all over the nation are going to come in there to play 7-on-7 football. And so we're very excited to do something in the city of St. Petersburg and try to promote uh, high school football, 7-on-7 Elite uh, in this case. Uh, to our community. My question is, uh, with the draft, do you uh, wait at 26, or do you uh, trade out of the first round and try to collect more picks so you can hit on some of the holes that we have on our team? And I'll hang up and listen. It's a good question. Well, thank you, yeah. Matthew. And, and here's how I'll answer that. Obviously, that's a long ways away, and it all is predicated upon what happens to free agency. Do they lose any big free agents? Let's just say, for instance, Mike Evans. If they lose Mike Evans, right. then wide receiver jumps to the top of the board on Jason Light's draft list. I don't think there's any question. If you lose oh, Baker Mayfield, which I don't think is going to happen, or an Antoine Winfield, then all of a sudden you're looking for a quarterback. You're looking for a safety. That all of a sudden jumps to the front of the line. So I think they'll stay at 26. It's very hard to project who's going to fall to them. I think interior offensive line, if the kid from Oregon makes it down there, I think it's a no-brainer. But I think we have plenty of time to talk between now and then as to what the Buccaneers will do in the draft. First up is free agency, man, and I think that's going to get real interesting. Could be a lot of drama. Drama more than the Bucks are anticipating if they don't get these things taken care of before you get to that point. We got two down, two more hours to go. Guys, on this Friday, be careful on the roadways. Car accident, motorcycle accident, truck accident. If this has happened to you or someone you love, injuries as a result then you need to protect your rights and retain the personal injury law firm that's been there and done that for the last 30 years. My guys over at Catania, Catania, they are awesome. They work on a contingency, which means there's no cost to you unless they win, and they've been doing plenty of winning. A half a billion dollars in counting has been recovered by my guys for injury victims just like you. So they will go the extra mile, call them, tell them I sent you. 813-222-8545 or hit them up online at CatanyCatania.com to get a free evaluation of your case. That's 813-222-8545. Count on these guys because over at Catania Catania, they put families first. Office stamp by 930 Spokesman. All right, coming up on the other side, are you nervous? Can the Buccaneers keep everybody together? They got some really good news today in regards to the salary cap situation. Actually, everybody did. We're going to get into that next. If you dye your beard blue and white, then DAE is in your DNA. 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Celebration of the 10th anniversary, Disney's Frozen is coming to podcasting with a brand new story. The Frozen podcast features Anna. I want to know about that. Elsa. Makes perfect sense to me. Olaf. <laughs> I don't get it. And Kristoff. Are we going on another adventure? Oh, no. Of course. 
Experience Disney Frozen Forces of Nature. Available now on your favorite podcast app. Tax day is coming. Oh, no. But if you sign up for Robinhood Gold's IRA with a 3% match, you can get up to $195 for the 2023 tax year. Oh, yeah. Sign up at Robinhood.com slash boost by tax day to get the biggest contribution match on the market. Subscription fees apply. You know you got the most. Investing involves risk. 3% match requires gold for one year from first match. Must keep IRA for five years. Robinhood Financial LLC, member SIPC. Men. Are you suffering from erectile dysfunction or PE? The medical providers at Prestige Men's Medical Center offer breakthrough treatments that eliminate problems in the bedroom without pain or surgery. 98% of men see instant results on their first office visit. Listen to a specialist in men's health. I'm Dr. Simovitz. Prestige Men's Medical Center offers breakthrough medical treatments that eliminate ED and PE. Men are even lasting 90 minutes or longer, regardless of age or medical history. But that's not all. For a limited time only, call Prestige Men's Medical Center now and your initial consultation and first treatment are completely free. You'll see instant results right in the office. You'll even get a gift that enhances your performance in the bedroom. All this worth hundreds of dollars is free if you call now. 813-538-7931. 813-538-7931. That's 813-538-7931. It's a mystery where Old Spice finds its amazing scents like Himalayan sea salt, but I'm thrilled they have because no other body wash exfoliates and moisturizes 24-7 like Old Spice Gentleman's Himalayan sea salt body wash. Now, if only there was a mountain range separating the Indian subcontinent from the Tibetan plateau where I could hide my Old Spice and keep my family from stealing it, my impossibly smooth skin will finally be safe. Tampa Golfers, Global Golf Outlet is now open with the largest selection of used clubs in Florida. You'll find thousands of used name brand clubs to choose from all at one location. TaylorMade, Callaway, Titleist, Ping, Cleveland, and more, all at incredible prices. And at Global Golf Outlet, you'll also find hundreds of closeout deals on bags, shoes, and apparel. It's Florida's largest and only golf outlet where you can try, buy, and trade all in one place. Global Golf Outlet, located on Gun Highway in the Hampton Plaza. Ew, gotta get rid of this old Backstreet Boys t-shirt. Tell me why. Because it stinks, boys. Tell me why. I've washed it so many times, but the odor won't come out. Tell me why. No, you tell me why I can't get rid of this odor. Have you tried Downy Rinse and Refresh? It doesn't just cover up odors. It helps remove them. Wow, it worked, guys. Yeah. Downy Rinse and Refresh removes more odor in one wash than the leading value detergent in three washes. Find it wherever you buy laundry products. Hi, I'm David Moss. If your vehicle needs service, there's no better place than Moss Nissan. With our state-of-the-art service facilities and factory trained technicians, we are more than equipped to service all make and model vehicles. Plus, with our extended service hours and our pickup and drop-off service, you can have your vehicle serviced according to your schedule, not ours. If you need a vehicle while yours is being serviced, we have plenty of Nissans available. Stop by and experience the Moss difference. Moss Nissan, whatever it takes. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. Together, we're Anajar and Levine, and our team is a triple threat to big insurance companies. Don't settle with the insurance companies for a fraction of what your case is worth. We'll fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. That's the Anajar and Levine difference. Get your free case review right now. We'll help you take back control of your life. Call 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. Main office, Tampa eBay Motors is here for the ride. Go ahead, feel your engine. Admire that perfectly installed exhaust. Your vehicle's moving along this freeway like it was made from fresh installs and a whole lot of love. With eBay Motors, you get over 122 million parts to keep it running. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they'll be the perfect fit every time. Plus, at these prices, well, we're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. The Rhino completely enclosed gutter system offers you peace of mind and a strong defensive line to protect your home. Go to therhino.com to schedule your free home exterior inspection. That's therhino.com. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Go Bucks! It's been a wild ride in the automotive industry the last couple of years. But guess what? Inventory numbers are back, and so are the gimmicks and games that dealerships have tried. They don't realize what Bartow Ford's known. A great price and great service is all you need. 
Come to Bardo Ford. We're different, and we prove it. Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors. Visit TrajanWealth.com. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios. This is Tampa Bay's home for the best sports conversation in the Bay. We are 620 WTAE St. Petersburg. 95.3 FM W237CW Pinellas Park. 95.7 HD3 WVTP Clearwater. 96.7 FM W224BE Brandon. Streaming live on the free iHeartRadio app. Listen for all your music, sports, talk, and podcasts. Free. Never sounded so good. It's Friday. Get in here, we gotta go fast now. Come on, let's go, you guys. From Hudson to Apollo Beach and all around Tampa Bay, plus worldwide on iHeartRadio, it's time for the best sports conversation on your ride home. Welcome to the Ronnie and T Crash Show. On 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. You know, um, there was something about, uh, you know, either what he was asking for or his age. They weren't sure. And he went out and proved it, you know, to add to the rest of the league that he's still a really top, you know, number one receiver. So um, the Bucks may have, you know, may have missed it uh, a year ago if they, if they, and they weren't in a position to do anything uh, substantial either. That was another big part of it. That's Rick Stroud from Tampa Bay Times and TampaBay.com from yesterday's show. The Buccaneers tried to do something last year. They couldn't. Obviously, they were in a much worse position salary cap-wise. Now they're in a better position, and it got even better today. So where does that leave the Buccaneers? $30 million more for every team. The salary cap has gone up to Two hundred fifty-five million for the twenty twenty-four season. That is a lot of money. Good afternoon, Tampa Bay. Welcome back. It is hour number three. Ronnie and T. Kras on your radio. It's five oh five on the ride home. Chris Mathis also along for the ride as well. As we'll take you up until seven o'clock. We're live ninety-five three FM AM six twenty. Download the iHeartRadio Radio app. Absolutely free. Crystal clear reception along the app. It is great, and we are streaming the show on Facebook, Twitch. And YouTube TV, like and subscribe at 953-WDAE. Your phone calls are always welcome. 888-546-4620. Texts are coming in. 82945 on the Bartow 4 da text platform. We've got the mailbag coming up at the bottom of the hour. So we're going to get into that hot and heavy then. So the salary cap is going up. The Buccaneers will have more room. And look at spot track over the cap.com have different numbers on how much salary cap room the Bucks will have. It's safe to say they'll have more than $40 million now to spend, and they've got some guys they need to lock up. Ronald, good afternoon. Hey, good afternoon. You're right about that spot track and over the cap. Over the cap says they're $45 million under the cap, and spot track says they're $52 million, where they're somewhere in there. At any rate, it is good news for the Buccaneers. You may be wondering, where the hell is this money coming from? Well, the NFL, as we know, is a huge business. It's a $10.5 billion league, man. I'm telling you, they've got the money, and they got more money because some repayment of amounts that were advanced to the clubs and deferred by the players during the COVID, you know, uh, during the COVID pandemic, that is all back in the... uh, in the, in the uh, box, as you call it, in the treasury box there for the NFL. Plus, as you mentioned, Tom, the streaming services are just funneling millions of dollars to the NFL for the broadcast rights. That also contributed to the salary cap increasing an unprecedented amount up to $30 million increase for each club. So that's good news for the Bucks because... They do have their four top key agents that we've been harping about that they'd love to bring back, and this is going to help them do that. It doesn't mean necessarily they're going to get them all back, but it certainly is going to aid in that endeavor. I think they have a chance to bring everybody back. That's the good news from today. They'll have more money, and there's a way to free up even more money. Ryan Jensen retired. Chris Godwin in the final year of a contract, they can restructure or give him an extension to lower his cap number. That will give him more room. Shaq Barrett will likely be released. That will free up more room. Russell Gage, ditto. That will free up even more room there. And I think, and I brought this up earlier, 
keep an eye on the Buccaneer corners. Jamel Dean and Carlton Davis both make a lot of money, and they have both been injury prone. Carlton Davis has missed 15 games over the last three years. It's a lot of games. Jamel Dean has missed quite a few games himself. So I think if I were to choose one, I think Carlton Davis is probably in more trouble because he's missed a hell of a lot more games over that last three-year span. And with the emergence of Zion McCollum, that's something to keep an eye on. So this sort of thing happens in the days leading up to free agency where you have established veterans who are making a lot of money who are not tradable, by the way. They tend to get let go. Look what just happened down in Miami. The Dolphins, according to reports, have informed their star corner, Xavier Howard, that he will be released. So it does happen around the NFL. I mean, it's that kind of business. The, the business of football does take shape at some point. And if you're a guy that's been injury prone, if you make a lot of money, if they can move off you and get better in terms of salary cap room, they are absolutely going to do it. So the Bucks have all kinds of ways, and I know some people were freaking out about them not getting anything done before, I think it was Monday, was a deadline that people were looking at to save some money against the cap. Shouldn't worry about that because, as you mentioned last hour, they can push money continually down the road by restructuring contracts, and I'm sure that process has already started. We haven't heard much about it because... Really, they're not going to report anything of that nature until the new league year begins, which is in the middle of March, March 13th of 14th. I think it's the 14th the new league year begins because that legal tampering period's got to go on between the 11th and the 13th. So uh, deals will get done. Uh, The Bucs, it would behoove them to get both. Baker Mayfield and Rick Strout had in the Times today that preliminary talks have began with or have begun with Baker's people. So they're working on getting Baker done. And then I think they want to get Mike Evans taken care of to the best of their ability. Again, there may be some moves that will facilitate that to give them the necessary cap space that they're going to need to get that done. I think Baker gets done early, and I think that will provide some enticement perhaps, a recruiting tool for Mike. Look, we just got Baker done. You just had a tremendous season with Baker as your starting quarterback. Imagine what we can do in a second year in a system that's very similar to the one we just had with Dave Canales. Liam Cohen comes aboard. They run a very similar system. So now we have the opportunity to get even better. So these are some of the selling points that the Buccaneers will throw out there 2-1 2-1 Mike Evans. But as I mentioned in the last half hour, except for one moron on the text platform who doesn't know his elbow from his ass, this is how players talk when they talk to other players about recruiting. They talk about rings. You want rings. They talk about coaches. You want a coach? We got a coach. I don't know about your coach, but this is how players recruit other players. And when Mike Evans gets the free agency, he's going to get hit up by... Aaron Rodgers, he's going to get hit up by Patrick Mahomes, and that's going to be fairly enticing. If Mike leaves Tampa Bay, he's going to want to go somewhere where he can win a second ring. And the Chiefs obviously afford him that opportunity, much more so than the Jets, but you know, Aaron Rodgers being there certainly gives them at least a puncher's chance, but that's what it's going to look like when the non-tampering period comes around. Now, also with that and players recruiting, Tom, a prime example was Tom Brady right here in Tampa Bay. Hey, Gronk, come back. Let's run it back. Let's try to win another Super Bowl ring. Boom, they did it. You're going to like the head coach. You're going to love it here in Tampa Bay. That's that's a prime oh. example that we all can relate to. Yeah, it goes on all the time. You saw the tweet from Sauce Gardner. He's not even a quarterback, and he's trying to recruit. Mike Evans. Look, he knows Mike Evans gives him a great chance to win because the Jets needed a big play wide receiver opposite Garrett Wilson, who got doubled quite often. Obviously, not having a quarterback also hurt their chances. But you know, to suggest that players don't do that makes no sense whatsoever. They do it all the time. That's an idiot right there. They do it all the time in every sport. In every sport. But you know, I'm not going to waste my time with morons. You know, go listen 
to some other slapdick radio somewhere else because you're not smart enough to listen to this show, I can tell you that. And also people in office buildings or people that have a job that want to try to help a friend get a job. You all can relate to that too. Hey, come work with me. You're going to love the boss. You're going to love the freedom, the money. It happens in every walk of life. Yeah. Are you professional or not? 888-546-4620. Let's go to our phones. Uh, Tommy's calling from Detroit. Uh, What's going on? Is there a reason why you're calling us today? Yeah, there is. No, I like to um, I like to look at it from the outside looking in. They had their chance for Mike. I mean, they blew it. You know, they didn't sign him. And now he's got a big bag of money out there wherever. And, and what I'm saying is you already have a built-in number one if he leaves. you got Godwin. Why not use all that money on the defensive end and and just give Baker his sixty or seventy million for two years and give him a fifteen million buyout on the third year if if they want to part ways and I, I just think uh, Mike's a phenomenal player and I know this hurts the home team fans but. If he's done this for ten years, do you really think he's going to do it for another three? Well, that's a big question, Tommy, and I appreciate the phone call. Come on, get out of here! You actually made a little bit of sense with that phone call, so I'm impressed. And that's the, you know, $30 million question if you're Jason Light. Do I pay Mike on what he's done, or do I pay Mike on what he will do when he's 31, 32, 33 years old? And I think that's what the Buccaneers are trying to figure out. I think Mike can still do it. At a pretty high level, but is that worth twenty-eight million a year with thirty-five million guaranteed money on a three-year deal? That is going to be the huge question that the Bucks are trying to figure out. Now, I still think it's more likely than not that Mike stays here. Mike loves Tampa Bay. We all know the story. Jason Light, that's his first ever draft pick. Mike has put roots down here, the Mike Evans Family Foundation. He's doing some wonderful things in our community, just like Levante David, who was on our show yesterday. So I do believe Mike wants to stay here. But man, oh man, you are running the risk. Now that every team in the NFL has $30 million more to play with, when you get to that non-tampering period and he's getting phone calls from Aaron Rodgers and Patrick Mahomes and Lord knows who else, C.J. Stroud might get on the phone with him and say, hey man, uh, Houston, we just went to the playoffs. Galveston is nearby. Would you like to come home? Would you like to catch passes from me? Would you like to try and get another Super Bowl championship? I think we're ready to make that next leap with you on our team. So Mike is going to get hit up by a lot of different people. Trust me on that. No doubt about that. And that's why, again, it's best for the Bucks to not even allow him to get to that stage. Look, the Bucks understand they gambled and lost. That first time around at the beginning of the season, they gambled and lost. They can't gamble again because they'll lose again, or at least they don't want to gamble again with the prospect of possibly losing. They do have that in their favor that you just talked about. He wants to retire. (sighs) He wants to be here. He's got his family going here. He's got his uh, his, uh, organization, his foundation going here. And he wants to keep all of that going. So that works in favor of the Bucs, but they cannot allow him, in my opinion, to get to open free uh, free agency again. I, I think it's inevitable, Ronnie, and we're 10 days away from that. Or, no, we're a couple of weeks away from that. Right, he hasn't March been there, 11th. right? Because he signed two contracts with the Bucks. He signed his rookie deal, and then he signed that deal in 2018. That was a five-year, $82 million deal with, it says here, was guaranteed. $55 million was guaranteed. So that contract is the one that's up right now. He made $14 million off the first one, $55 million off this one, and we'll see what there is. I mean, it's rare that players get to that third opportunity with one well, team. Well, he's a great player, and he yeah. takes great care of his body, and I think the Tom Brady effect had a profound one on him and the guy that we had on yesterday, Levante David, who is 34 years old, played 12 years in a league, and Levante David looks just as good now as he did five, six years ago. When Tom Brady arrived in Tampa Bay, He showed these guys the blueprint, the handbook on what it's like to take care of your body, you know, 
through the off season, during the regular season, this is what you should be doing. And guys picked up a lot of pointers and they used it to their advantage. And Mike looks great at the age of 30 going on 31. And now the Buccaneers have to ask themselves is three years at 77 to 80 million, roughly something that we can afford because we have to pay Baker. And I think they will do that in the next week or so, two weeks. They're going to talk to him in depth at the combine Rick Stroud reported and he was on with us yesterday that they've already had preliminary talks with Baker's agent and I think yes it will be a two-year deal with an option for a third and I think 30 million is probably going to be at the starting point of those talks and it could get up to 33 34 35 million maybe even higher than that we'll see gonna be fun to find this uh you know, and watch all of this go down because it is going to be a little bit of drama here with getting these free agents back that the Bucks desperately want to retain to keep the continuity going with the offense that Dave Canales, who is no longer here, got rolling last season. Just in, yeah, just in time to get him to the playoffs and even win a playoff game. And, you know, they actually had a shot in that game against Detroit. Levante David played his ass off in that game against Detroit. Yeah, by rough the way. one, right? Yeah, it was rough, and Levante was great. 13 tackles and a sack in the game against the Lions. And, you know, he's going to be sitting around waiting for the Buccaneers to call him. They've got some serious business to take care of first with the big three of Evans and Baker and Winfield. And then they'll make their way around to Levante at some point. And I do think Levante will be back for year number 13. I mean, just from listening to him yesterday, he's talking like a guy who knows that the Buccaneers know that he wants to play for one more year, and I think he's not going to play for anybody else. He can still play. We all know that. There's no question about that. 888-546-4620. Text on the Bartow 4DA text platform. <laughs> Only, you know, smart texts, you know, intuitive texts are welcome on the text platform. If you're going to... Yeah. If you're going to be a clown, then you know what? Then then you know what you what you going to do with yourself. And I guess, see, that guy just admitted he was trolling you from the 727. I think you took my comment seriously. Wow, cheers. No, it was some other guy. Oh. Yeah, uh, I think that was a totally different guy. Yeah. The, the text line's blowing up. Yeah, he's not there anymore. Oh, okay. Oh, oh no. man. Well, it, he was baby. saying stupid things, things that were not true, by the way. And I just told him that uh, he can do something with himself. How's oh. that? Uh, guys, if you or someone you love happens to be involved in an injury accident, product liability, medical malpractice, social security disability, guess what? Catani Catani, they are experienced in dealing with all of these cases when it comes to personal injury law. These guys have been doing it at a high level for 30 years. They work on a contingency, which means there's no cost to you unless they win. And plenty of winning has been happening on the part of Catani Catani. A $500 million plus has been recovered by my guys for injury victims just like you. So give them a call. They're tenacious. They're proven. They're successful. It's Catania. Catania. 813-222-8545. That's 813-222-8545. Or hit them up online at CatanyCatania.com to get that free evaluation of your case. Because over at Catania Catania, they put families first. Office Tampa, not attorney spokesman. All right, coming up, you freaking people. Boy, it only took you a couple of days after I came back from, by the way, a death in the family to get some jokes in, to get some jabs in. You're on the phone for three hours. Let me finish. No, you can't. <laughs> uh, we will open up the Ronnie and T-Kraz mailbag. It's always entertaining, and it's coming up next. Play ball! Tomorrow, spring training is underway. Catch all the action live beginning at 1230 as the Rays take on the Atlanta Braves on the radio home of the Tampa Bay Rays all season long. 95.3 WDAE and AM 620 and streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. Yeah! WDAE traffic update. Minor crash on the off-ramp to Bush Boulevard from northbound 275. And northbound 275 is jammed up from downtown Tampa to Bush Boulevard. Crash being cleared in Pinellas Park on southbound US-19 at Mainlands. It's off to the right-hand side. Delays in St. Pete on southbound 275 from before Gandy to 38th Avenue North. Delays, too, on northbound 275 from the West Shore area through downtown Tampa. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by... 
Allstate. Some people just know the best rate for you is a rate based on you with Allstate, not one based on anyone else. So if you drive safely, you could save money. Good to know. Visit Allstate.com or call for a quote today. If you're celebrating a milestone anniversary this year or just starting the process of picking out that engagement ring, welcome to International Diamond Center. At IDC, we're one of a few jewelers around the world with direct access to exquisite diamonds from Namibia. These are the highest quality, most brilliant diamonds on the planet. And with IDC's connections with the cutters, you can be assured of the ultimate in value with no middleman markups. And just as important as the brilliance of our diamond is the source itself. An IDC diamond comes only from specific mines that follow strict international laws and environmental standards. Not only do we guarantee conflict-free diamonds, we are proud that when you purchase an IDC diamond, you are helping provide dignified employment, much needed education, and necessary health care to African families. So come and shop with confidence at IDC. Confidence in the quality, the value, and the integrity of our diamonds. International Diamond Center. Transparency, honesty, responsibility. Learn more at shopidc.com or visit our showroom today in Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota. Tampa Golfers Global Golf Outlet is now open with the largest selection of used clubs in Florida. You'll find thousands of used name brand clubs to choose from all at one location. TaylorMade, Callaway, Titleist, Ping, Cleveland, and more all at incredible prices. And at Global Golf Outlet, you'll also find hundreds of closeout deals on bags, shoes, and apparel. It's Florida's largest and only golf outlet where you can try, buy, and trade all in one place. Global Golf Outlet, located on Gun Highway in the Hampton Plaza. Join me out here at Time Out Sports Bar on Oakhurst and Seminole. I'm hooking listeners up every 20 minutes with a pair of tickets to the Valspar Championship PGA Tour Tournament at Innisbrook Resort. Valspar is happening March 18th through 26th. You'll see the finest golfers in the world right here in Tampa Bay to compete on the Copperhead course at Innisbrook. So come on out right now. Time Out Sports Bar on Oakhurst and Seminole. With your choice of select sandwich, nugs, fries, and a drink, Wendy's $5 Biggie Bag is your go-to. Your nugget wingman. Your hot and crispy fry co-pilot. Just like us. We're like the bag boys. What? Bag boys, bag boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when we bring your food? <sighs> For a deal you can count on, bet on Biggie and choose wisely. Choose Wendy's. Bag boys, bag boys. U.S. price participation may vary. Includes choice of TVC or crispy chicken sandwich with four-piece nugs, junior fry, and small soft drink. Third-party delivery pricing may be higher. Hey there. Tampa Bay. It's Steve and Elizabeth Holland at the Holland Group. We want to talk to you about the importance of tax planning, or as we like to call it, the art of legally keeping your money away from Uncle Sam. With 30 years of experience, we realize there are tax strategies you may not know about. If done properly, we can save you real money. So call the Holland Group Retirement Wealth Advisors serving Tampa Bay since 1993. 727-228-6449. Injured? Hire America. America's largest injury firm, Morgan & Morgan, for the people. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. It's been a mostly sunny afternoon with a high around 70 and high winds. Gusty winds continue tonight with rain early, low 57. Clearing skies by morning, Saturday and Sunday, sunny, breezy, high 70 degrees. This report is sponsored by Pfizer. COVID-19? I don't want to risk missing work. I booked an appointment for this season's updated COVID-19 shot designed to help protect against recent variants. Learn about a vaccine option and book your COVID-19 shot on ScheduleCovidVax.com. Sponsored by Pfizer. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, this is Tampa Bay Sports Radio. 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. 1, 0, 3. 1, 2, 3. Home of the best box coverage. It's time for the Ronnie and T-Kraz Mailbag. Text or tweet the show your socially awkward comment. If it makes the cut, we'll call you out. Or <clears throat> read it on the air. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Boy, that is it for some of you. I mean, some of you have just no shame, no integrity. I'm kind of used to dealing with that, obviously, from the last few weeks. But that's another story from another day. But you're talking about... You freaking people. I mean, I had a tremendous loss in my family. You know, I'm still not feeling quite there yet. You know, I'm still going through the grieving process. Some of you don't care. You have no heart. You're texting stupid things. I had to block one idiot because he was just texting the most mindless, dumbest statements. Inaccurate statements, by the way. Nothing about what you said, sir, was factually true. So I blocked you. That's why I blocked you, because you're an idiot. If you like Sirius XM, then go freaking listen to Sirius XM. 
Good luck with trying to find anything Tampa Bay related on there. He's one guy, and we've had hundreds of people pouring their hearts out to you. So uh, there's that. But yet all it takes is one uh, one egghead to get everybody upset. So Egghead. All right. So <laughs> on Tuesday, I was still out. I don't know what this guy was talking about, Ronnie. Hey, Ronnie, write down the USF coach's name and stick it to your computer. Did yes, you, I did. You were having trouble with Amir Abdul Rahim? Uh, yes, I tried to call him. Uh, I don't know what I tried to call I think I tried to use Raheem first instead you did. of Amir. Are you still yeah. spinning records, cowboy <laughs> Oh, boy. USF oh. is on fire. Don't forget, by the way, head on to Instagram between now and midnight. Four tickets to the USF SMU game on Sunday afternoon could be yours. Just go to our Instagram page to sign up and register until midnight. That is open for business courtesy of our guys over at Yingling Beer. We appreciate that, too. By the way, Leonard on Tuesday said, hey, thanks for talking about USF Hoops. What would it take to get you guys to Sunday's game? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to make it Sunday, but I uh, appreciate that, yeah. though. But you know what? They're doing some great things. They are. They're doing maybe, outstanding maybe, things. They've won in 12 future. in a row. 12 in a row, you know, you're at the 20-win mark, it's outstanding. Maybe we get to 15, Tom. Maybe we'll go to a game. 15? 15? <laughs> 15? I, well, 15, that's a lot. That is a lot. I mean, that's, uh, out of, you know. Uh, ben and Clark, Clearwater. Ronnie, I am sorry I didn't come to say hi to you at Fan Fest. That's okay. Also, cool shirt. I have no idea what shirt I was wearing on Tuesday. Uh, oh, man, I forget now, too. But it was a good one. I know that much. So, move on to Wednesday when Tom returned. And look at all of these welcome back, Toms. All of those outweigh the uh, numbskull oh, you were talking for to sure, earlier. For sure. It's just one dummy out of thousands, by the way. And I really appreciate it. I mean, I was reading through some of the texts and Instagram, Facebook, X. I mean, I'm talking about hundreds of responses from so many people. And it was just heartwarming. It was very touching to read them all. And my family and I certainly appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, welcome back, T. Krez. Tom, we love you. In the in the Todd Bowles voice, right? Yeah, all loud. Real loud. Tom, we love you. There you go. Thank you, Coach. I love you too, buddy. Of course, Mark had to, you know, kind of come at you sideways a little bit, but Who? it's all in fun. Mark and Osmar, you know, our guy, Mark and Osmar, he listens all the time. Welcome back, Twinkle Toes. I don't know why he calls you Twinkle Toes. We missed you people. <laughs> we missed you people. What the hell does that mean, man? You people. I oh, know. I guess you saying you people. Oh, me. Oh, that's right. Okay. I get it now. Uh, <laughs> this guy says, Tom, so sorry about what you and your family must be going through. Your father must have been so proud of you. And you and Ronnie have turned our sports radio into one of the best in Florida. Your radio family out here certainly appreciates having you back. And selfishly, your time, I don't text. And I will keep it that way. Go, Tom. That's an awesome text. That's a great text. Thank you so much, sir. I really appreciate it. That's just awesome. Sir or ma'am or miss. We are in the middle of the mailbag segment brought to you by Bartow Ford. They are different. They prove it. It's what we do every Friday around 530. We read the insults and the negative comments about the program. A lot of them are in jest. People just want to be on this here mailbag like this guy from the 941 or it could be a lady. Ronnie, keep looking over you. t Crass. Ronnie keeps looking over you like he's uh, afraid that you're going to catch him with his hand in a cookie jar. Laugh out loud. Well, what does that mean? I have no idea what that means. Yeah, I couldn't figure that text out either. <laughs> I was trying to dissect that earlier this week. Uh, but here's one. Also from the 941, a different number. Hoping Evan's agent isn't asking <laughs> for t Crass contract money. <laughs> See, there you go. Well, unless you want to be poorly paid. I don't think that's <laughs> happening anytime soon. You do sound a little nasally and upset. I, I am. You know, I... I went up to New York, obviously. It was cold. It was snowing. You know, Friday night into Saturday, we had the wake Friday, and then Saturday was a funeral. Friday night into Saturday, it snowed four inches. So we woke up in our hotel room, which was a dump, by the way, <laughs> and we looked outside, and it was a four inches of snow. Oh, man. So it must be going around in New York because my lovely wife, Bobby, went to New York to see our granddaughter, and she comes back with the same thing you've got, and you said your sister has the same sort of thing my going on. My sister is sick as well. She's got the flu, not COVID, the flu, so it's going around for sure. All Jeez right. Louise. Let's move on to tomorrow unless you see something tomorrow? else on Wednesday. I mean, uh, I'm not, not going to be here tomorrow. <laughs> no, me neither. Thursday. Uh, uh, 
Thursday. I'm happy we got a long weekend. Yes, we do have a long weekend, Baker. You're right. Uh, out of the 352, great job with the Levante David interview, guys. Very impressed by Ronald. He didn't mispronounce any names. Yeah, I did. At least once. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, whose face is that on the Bucks flag on T-Crest's shirt? Oh, he, I had the, the, uh, the Tampa Patrick Bay. Andrew, yeah, yeah I had the Tom, that was Tom Brady's face on the shirt there. Oh, so what's uh, the question? The question here, Tommy. Boys, how, how's it going? This text makes no sense. <laughs> Ronnie should ask Levante if he's talking to Jerry Banks, if he's talked to Jeremy Banks lately, and how's he doing? What? Yeah, it makes no sense. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine asking Levante that? He'd go, what? Who are you talking about, bro? We're not going to waste Levante David's time with no. that. Come on. Give me a break. Oof. Oof is right. So we did this Levante David, what's called Canvas. We put these video clips online. Right. And it got an enormous response. Oh, it, nice. Yes, it was nice. Thank you, Tyler. And, <laughs> you know, so many people are commenting. So I saw this one guy comment. I didn't need to see a close-up of T-Kraz during the video. <laughs> Who said that, man? So I clicked on this guy's profile, and he freaking looks like the elephant man. I'm oh, like, look, oh, come on. you shouldn't be commenting about other people's looks. You know, Ronnie and I, we're on TV. <laughs> we're on radio. You know, we do Facebook Live the show. You know, we're not ugly people. I mean, the only way you get on TV is in the back of a squad car Whoa. or some show like the 500 no, no, pound no, no, no. loser. Insult I didn't insult bit. anybody. Come on, give me a drink. From today on the Barto 4 DA text platform from the 727, <laughs> Ronnie and T-Crass uh. is the GOAT radio program. I can't read the next word there because uh, you dump it. But uh, basically blank the haters, says this texter from the 727. Um, there was one guy who said, you know, um, if I can find it, I was mentioning Mike Evans, Chiefs, Jets, among the teams that are probably going to be pursuing him and calling him. And I think this one guy put it perfectly. Mike ain't going to KC. Yeah, real T. Kras. Evans signs here if Baker's a quarterback. If Trask is here, he's gone. And then another guy says, why would our wonderful Hall of Fame wide receiver go to the Jets where things go to die? Wow. Um, and I'm not going to disagree with that man. I think he's right. He's right. And I'm living proof. I know that more than anybody else. Yeah. You know, and there's a texter from the seven. What? 720. I don't even know where the hell that is. Uh, but he's saying that, you know, Mike Evans to Houston makes more sense than anything. We both have said that. So Yeah, I mean, Houston makes a lot of sense. Yeah, There's some talk that maybe they might go for a running back. There's some big-name running backs that are going to be available this offseason, potentially. I don't think Saquon Barkley gets the franchise tag. I think he's going to be a guy that's going to be heavily pursued by maybe the Ravens, maybe the Cowboys, maybe... Maybe the Chargers. I think Jim Harbaugh is going to make a big play for one of these big-time free agent running backs. And he's probably going to draft one of those guys he had in Michigan, too, by the way. Did you say Mike Evans in Houston? Yes. Oh, yeah. no, we better call him. Is that a problem? Yeah, because we got a problem if he leaves Tampa Bay. Uh, Houston, <laughs> we've got a problem. From Apollo 13. Now, in terms of the Jets, and I responded to that guy, Ronnie, I think it's unlikely that he goes to the Jets. Unlikely. All right, there you have it. That is your mailbag for oh, today, or Friday. Yeah, what? keep that music going. Are you watching Larry David's yeah, final I am. season? I am. I saw it last week, dude. It's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Where he that was sitting on the, Atlanta? the... Well, yeah, that was the first episode. Last week, you know, when he's sitting on the bench and he's watching the golf lesson with the guy. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty funny. But, yeah, it's uh, you got to check it out. It's the final season of the Larry David program. If you've never checked it out, uh, Curb, you're your Curb, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Yes, hey, I, I started watching up, uh, season one last weekend. It's hilarious, isn't it? Yeah. It, takes a, it takes you a while to get into it, and then you get it. You know, first you look at it, you go, this guy's a prick, man. But it's, uh, it's what he does. I it's, like it, man. It's what he does. I think it's freaking hilarious. It, you, and everyone's going to argue what the best season was. Yeah, that's hard. For me... It was season seven when they had the Seinfeld reunion. I think that was the best season. Oh, wow. Curb. How many episodes are for how long? Oh, uh, gosh. It's, it's several. Really? And, no way. And I got to watch think that. You got to go season seven. I think the first episode is the best because he comes up with the idea of, oh, 
Well, him and Jeff are talking like, oh, you know, the people from NBC, they keep calling. They want a Seinfeld reunion. And Larry's like, you know, these reunions, you know, they're terrible. They're all old and, you know, they're, they're not, they don't have it anymore. So yeah, he's, he's a riot, man. He's against the Seinfeld reunion until he finds out his ex, Cheryl, is an actress. So he concocts this elaborate plan <laughs> to get her back by casting her in a Seinfeld reunion show so that he can get her back. So it's really funny. Plus, he gets into a pissing match with the head of NBC. Well, he does. Yeah, that 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 season's great. But what about the season when there was a, what do you, what do you call it, a fatwa was ordered oh, yeah. against him? That a was fatwa, freaking, yeah. That was freaking hilarious, the, man. The Palestinian chicken. <laughs> I mean, come on. Oh, it was out of control. Uh, let's go to our phones. Uh, our guy Tommy is up in New Jersey. I was just up in your neck of the woods, Tommy. It's still cold up there, huh? Yeah, you got it. I got my put my little flyer on. We're going to get a cold day uh, tomorrow, too. Well, first of all, Tom, uh, I want to send my condolences uh, to you, you and your family. You know, it's not uh, easy losing your, your your parents either way, right? Yeah, you know, I, I, I dad, appreciate it very much. His dad... Is he uh, out in resurrection? Is he, did he stay in Staten Island with you? No. Um, we actually buried him up in Westchester County uh, in the oh, Gates okay. Gates of Heaven Cemetery up in Westchester County. Okay. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful. Right. I, I've heard of that. I've heard of the, mm -hmm. uh, the, the area up there. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, like I said, you guys make the best of it. God bless, bless you that way. And, uh uh, I was listening to the show yesterday with Levante. Uh, here's a story. When it was uh, rookie year, I was up with Josh Freeman's friends and family up at MetLife the rookie year when Shiano was uh, – and Levante took that penalty. I don't know if you remember. Yeah, I do. Yeah, we do. Yes. Out of bounds. And I'm saying to myself, I'm telling these people, they should cut this guy's ass right now. Cut his – and not uh, – and, and I'm saying, if I would have had a chance to talk to him, I would say, I'm, I'm glad nobody listened to me because he's like one of the best linebackers. And he's he's got Hall of Fame uh, credentials, uh, David. And I hope he stays for another year. So it's just a small world that uh, was uh, I was up at that game uh, 12 well, years ago. It, so, it, it was. Cool. Yeah, it was, Tommy. But, and, I, and I'm sorry, go ahead. I just wanted, you know, I just wanted to check in with you guys and, and send my best to you. So thank you, Tommy. You guys, uh, stay well and uh, have a couple of the uh, Chattanoogas uh, this weekend. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm sure, I'm sure you'll be able to find some. Uh, I've so got. You guys to... Have a good weekend, and and hopefully everything will be going good, and and we'll we'll get ready for the football, and then hopefully we'll be able to keep all the guys because we we wound up with a good ending so to the season. So let's try to carry it on to next year. So you guys stay well. God bless. All right, guys. Hey, thank yep. you, Tommy. Thank, thank you, Tommy. Buddy. Uh, now, it's funny he mentioned that game because, yeah. Ronnie, that was my first year doing the overtime show. And I remember people calling my show, and they wanted Levante David cut. The late hit out of bounds that set up the game-winning field goal. They want I couldn't tell you how many people called in, and I told each and every one of them, you guys are freaking nuts. This guy's going to be a tremendous player. Did he make a big mistake? Yes, he did. But you're not going to freaking cut the guy. Are you freaking kidding? Boy, oh boy, it's a good thing the Buccaneers didn't listen to some of you. Uh, let's go to Stan in Palm Harbor. Stan, what's going on, my man? Hey, man. I appreciate you all uh, taking my call. Listen, uh, you know, if, if we if we did lose Baker, if we did lose Mike, uh, and I say move up, in the, uh, move up in the draft, pick up Brock Bowers. He's a generational player. You, you don't have to worry about contracts for four years. The guy's a stud. He's as big as Mike. He's faster. He's stronger. He's got great hands. He's, uh, he's a great if, player. If, God forbid, we lose Baker, too. Bo Nix, five-year starter, NFL ready. I mean, you know, there, there's people. There, and, and, again, you have young guys. You got uh, four years before you have to worry about contract nonsense. There are so many holes that this team could fill. It, it's unbelievable. Well, I'll say this, Stan. Edge rusher? Yep, edge rusher I think is Definitely. the number one priority, yeah. and thanks for the phone call, Stan, because we're up against the break. Look, if if you let Baker or Mike both go, then you have two bigger holes, kind of, yeah, including quarterback again. So I don't think the Buccaneers are going to do that. I think Baker, I think undoubtedly, I, I would put it at 80% plus he's back. Mike, I still think it's 60-40. I think Antoine Winfield, 100% he's back. 
That, that's how I'm handicapping those three guys yeah, as of right now. They're not letting Antoine Winfield go anywhere. I think Baker is back. I almost put that at 90% that he is back. And I think Mike gets uh, more like 65 70% with the added money to the salary cap that was announced today by the National Football League. An unprecedented $30 million bump for all the teams. It's, a lot, it's a lot of money, which is great. It's great news for the Bucks, but these other teams that could potentially be eyeing Mike will also have more money, too. And we'll talk about that in a matter of moments. By the way, in case you missed it from earlier, a lot of Rays talk. The great Neil Solons coming up at 6 o'clock as well. Guys, the weather outside is fantastic. It's Friday. It's warm. It's beautiful. You want to be able to enjoy life. But if you still have that agonizing joint pain still holding you back in your knee, your shoulder, your hip, your back, arthritic pain, maybe pain from an old injury perhaps, I certainly feel for you. And I was there. Because my elbow was in a bad way a couple of years ago. The people over at QC Kinetics, Dr. Zuckerman and his team of professionals did a great job. They cured it. My right knee, the last several months, really in bad shape. And after a couple of uh, treatments, QC Kinetics cured that too. I played basketball last night for the first time in a month and I felt great. Not good, but great. They are the nation's leader in regenerative medicine. I'm talking lasting joint pain relief. With no drugs, no surgery, no downtime. QC Kinetics literally transforming lives here in Tampa Bay and all across this country with advanced treatments that harness your own body's ability to restore and repair that damaged joint tissue. Pro athletes have been using this method for years, and now it's available to everyday people like you and me. So take advantage of it, guys. Get out there. The weather's awesome. Do those things that you want to do. You can uh, walk, run, ride a bike, swim. Hit the links. QC Kinetics can help you get there. So give them a call. Get a free consultation. 813-305-3000. That's 813-305-3000. QC Kinetics. Locations all over the Bay Area, including Bradenton, St. Pete, Lakeland, and Brandon. Tell me, boy, Tom Krasnicki sent you. QC Kinetics. 813-305-3000. More NFL news and notes today ahead of today's big announcement. Plus, what's on tonight next? They're seen all around Tampa Bay, and they love Tampa Bay sports. 43. You can't miss them. Just look for the life of the party, along with a guy with a suit and colorful shoes. Tune into J and Z for the hottest take, the deepest analysis, and banter on everything Bucks, Lightning, Rays, and more. Hear them weekdays noon to three on ninety five point three WDAE and AM six twenty. Streaming on the free iHeart Radio app. WDAE traffic update. Northbound 275 jammed up approaching Sun City Center. That's all due to a crash a mile or two north of 674. It's off to the left-hand side. Also, we're seeing delays on eastbound I-4 near I-75 and southbound 275 from downtown Tampa to the West Shore area. Southbound 275 also a bit slow approaching the Skyway Toll Plaza in St. Pete. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Mattress Firm. Dive into hibernation mode with a huge deal on deeper sleep during Mattress Firm's President's Day sale. Shop now and save up to $500 on select Tempur-Pedic adjustable mattress sets and receive a $300 instant gift for pillows and more. Plus, get free and fast delivery to your door. Restrictions apply. Hey, it's Aaron Jacobson here with Jeff Jr., owner of Trajan Wealth, talking about 401ks. And I've always heard that 401ks were great, but you're telling me something different here, Jeff. Well, 401ks are great when you're employed there. However, if you're no longer employed, you probably don't want to keep that 401k with your old employer, and you probably don't want to roll that old 401k into your new employer's plan. Really? Now, now why is that? Well, most 401ks have limited investment options and can cost you thousands of dollars more in fees. And that's true even if you roll it over into your new employer's 401k. You also lose a lot of control by leaving your 401k with your old employer. If the company sells or merges, they often freeze it. That is great insight, Jeff. And if you have a 401k with an old employer, stop what you're doing and call Trajan Wealth, 813-550-1000. That's 813-550-1000. Advisory services offered through Trajan Wealth, LLC, an SEC-registered investment advisor, paid advertisement. 
Being careful these days with your budget doesn't mean you have to settle for inferior quality jewelry at a mall store. If you're used to shopping in malls and never been into an IDC before, I want to personally invite you in. International Diamond Center owner Keith LeClaire. We've got something for everybody. It doesn't matter your budget. It doesn't matter if you need financing. We'll make it happen. As a manufacturing jeweler, IDC is able to cut out the middleman. Our diamond bracelets, we buy the bracelet, we buy the diamonds, we assemble it. Our diamond bands, we buy the mounting, we buy the diamonds, we assemble it. So you're cutting out all that 40% that's in the middle for these manufacturers. And that's for superior quality jewelry with free service for life. When you come into IDC, you're going to get better quality for less, period. International Diamond Center. The one thing I'll guarantee you is... Is you will make a big financial mistake if you don't shop IDC. In Tampa, Clearwater, Lakeland, and Sarasota. Or visit us online at shopidc.com. Ugh, after a big dinner, my nighttime heartburn would keep me up. I'd be taking antacid after antacid all night long. But then I tried Prilosec OTC. Just one pill a day blocks my frequent heartburn for a full 24 hours, giving me one and done heartburn relief. Without heartburn keeping me up, <sighs> I could have a restful night's sleep. Prilosec OTC. One pill a day, 24 hours, zero heartburn. It's possible while taking Prilosec OTC. Use as directed for 14 days to treat frequent heartburn, not for immediate relief. Sell your home with a guaranteed offer from Mark Spain Real Estate and receive the strongest cash offer in the industry. You're going to save time and make the most money. Aaron Jacobson here, and with a guaranteed offer from Mark Spain Real Estate, you can skip the hassle of getting your home ready to sell, receive an all-cash offer, and close within days. No showings, no open houses, and no stress. And you can find out what that guaranteed offer would be on your home. No obligation for you. Just go to MarkSpain.com to get a guaranteed offer on your home today. That's MarkSpain.com and start packing. This report is sponsored by Pfizer. COVID-19? I don't want to risk missing work. I booked an appointment for this season's updated COVID-19 shot designed to help protect against recent variants. Learn about a vaccine option and book your COVID-19 shot on ScheduleCovidVax.com. Sponsored by Pfizer. It's been a mostly sunny afternoon with a high around 70 and high winds. Gusty winds continue tonight with rain early, low 57. Clearing skies by morning, Saturday and Sunday, sunny, breezy, high 70 degrees. Pat and Aaron, every weekday morning at 6. Ronnie and t Kras now. You're locked on Tampa Bay Sports Radio, WDAE. What's on tonight with the Ronnie and T-Crash Show? And it's brought to you by HowardTeamHomeLoans.com with our guy, Chris Mathis. For a little basketball action tonight on ESPN at 7.30 as the Cleveland Cavaliers will take on the 76ers in Philadelphia. Rays countdown to opening day tomorrow at 12.30. First pitch between the Braves and your Tampa Bay Rays gets underway with that first pitch at 105 right here the on Rays W. Suck, man. Hey, 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 oh, hey, hey come dude. on, man. The season uh, hasn't even started. Kevin Cash, I don't know if you heard that, but 105 <laughs> first pitch. Everything we do. Just said that I started right things Good. Right Happy to hear that, Coach. Totally and good. obviously free on-demand podcasting <laughs> for this entire program, hour by hour, feature by feature, interview by interview. Wow, that, that dude that I can't even remember when that call came through. The Rays, Rays suck, man. <laughs> Look, they've been in the playoffs five consecutive years. Yes, they have not advanced for sure in the last couple of years, and it's been very disappointing with how quickly they bowed out of and the playoffs. They the playoffs and they play like clowns. Well, they did last season for sure. Four errors in game number one of the playoffs, oh my gosh. And, and that was it, man. I remember, you know, we were both there. We we yeah. did our show from there. We're watching this. I'm like, this is like what the hell, the worst game that they have played like All in season. years, yeah, years. In that playoff game, and I'm, I just walked out of the trough, just all disgusted, man. Well, then they break. fell behind the next day, and it was over. That was it. Show's over. Well, Texas, man, they they took that hot streak and they went all the way. It's not the best team; it's the hottest team when you get to the postseason. They didn't lose a single game on the road in the entire postseason. Uh, that's an unbelievable accomplishment. So, and the other thing that was odd, the. Tough American League East. Every team that made the playoffs, three of them did. They all got swept out. They all got swept. <laughs> it's just insane, man. So we're going to see what the rest of the AL East looks like. Neil Solons is standing by. He joined us earlier this afternoon. We're going to replay that interview coming up in about 10 minutes. So there is some news out of the NFL. So the salary cap is going up to $255 million. That's an increase of more than $30 million. So the Bucks and everybody else has more money to play with. 
And now some teams are positioning themselves with free agency right around the corner. Down in Miami, a very talented corner, Xavier Howard, was cut today by the Dolphins. At one time, a lot of people felt that he was one of the best corners in the game. But he turns 31 in July. He's coming off a season-ending foot injury. And oh, by the way, cutting him saves $23 million off the Dolphins' cap. Wow. So an aging player, Ronnie, with a foot injury, you save $23 million. That's like a no-brainer for the Dolphins. So they move on from Xavier Howard. So we were talking about Jamel Dean and Carlton Davis, two guys similar who have been banged up. They've missed some games. Carlton Davis more so than Jamel Dean. Both guys make a lot of money. Jamel Dean missed four games this year. He missed two games last year, one game the year before that. So he hasn't missed as many games as Carlton Davis, who has missed 15 games the last three years. So if I had a bet on one of those guys, I think one of those guys is in trouble. I think Carlton Davis, Ronnie's in trouble. And I don't I'm not sure if he's going to be on this team next year. Well, not only did he have another injury plague season, but he graded as one of the lowest corners in the National Football League according to Pro Football Focus and the analytics there. So you combine those two things, and yeah, I'm sure the Bucks are looking at uh, possibly making a change there. Well, they got Zion McCollum, and Todd Bowles has been raving about him, and um, he felt like, and I felt like, he was also the most improved player on this Buccaneer team. So a younger, cheaper guy, I think that's just the business of football. Younger, cheaper guy, we're going to put him in, and we're going to let go of the guy who's missed 15 games in the last three years. So, And I like Carlton as a, as a player. I like him as a guy. I think he's a good dude. He's been on our show. I uh, remember, remember joking with him a couple years ago. Man, man you can't catch. Yeah, and he looked that. at me. He's like, man. He goes, I know, man. I get all these opportunities for interceptions, yada, yada, yada. And, you know, I can't get my hands on the football. But, you know, I think if... If the Bucks were to cut ties with him, Ronnie, I think there would be quite a few teams that would love to have him because he's still only 27 years old. You just got to keep him healthy. And he's six foot one, you know, 206. He's got press man ability, and I think a lot of teams would love to have a, of a guy like Carlton Davis. So I think the Bucks will try and trade him before they cut him. I think that's usually standard operating procedure. But if a team senses that, okay, so-and-so just called us today about this player, uh, you know, why would we give up something for Carlton Davis right. if we think the Buccaneers will just cut him out right? We could just sign him for nothing. There are rumors out there. If you look around, you can see there are trade rumors surrounding Carlton Davis. So a little smoke around Carlton, not that much around Jamel Dean. The only thing I've heard about Jamel Dean is he's a candidate to have his contract restructured. And that would open up some more cap space. But I think Carlton Davis is a guy who could be traded or cut. But again, at the age of 27, he's a big corner. I think there would be quite a few teams that would be interested in him. Don't forget, cornerback is still one of the premium positions in the NFL. Every team's looking for corner help. There are a lot of teams out there looking for corners who can cover people. I mean, I just throw it out there right now. I think the team, a team like the Lions would make a ton of sense for Carlton Davis. I mean, they need defensive back help. They need corners. Aaron Glenn is still there as their defensive coordinator. One-time Pro Bowl corner in Aaron Glenn. I'm sure he's looking at a guy like Carlton Davis like, okay, you know what? I think we can use this guy. If we can get him on the cheap, if he stays healthy, this guy can absolutely help our team. And I think there would be a few other teams out there who probably believe the same thing. All right, three hours in the books. Neil Solon standing by. What is the outlook for the Rays in 2024? Spring training is underway. We're going to have that for you coming up in a matter of moments. Guys, February 29th, that is next week, and that will also be your final opportunity to get to Brandon Ford for the best F-150 deal ever. They are blowing out the F-150s at an incredible pace. But they still have many of the leftover 2023s. Now, these leftovers may not be exactly the color you're looking for, maybe the right equipment and whatnot, but they are getting big-time discounted. 
30 of these trucks with at least $12,000 off the sticker value. Save thousands more in rates like 1.9% for 72 months. Even the new 2023 F-150 Lightnings are up to 15 grand off the sticker with rates as low as 3.9% for 60 months. We don't know when Brandon Ford will be able to offer any of these deals again or give you more for your truck trade-in. But here's what we do know. February the 29th is next week. It's coming up fast, and you have to hurry in because the F-150 objective deal ends soon over at Brandon Ford. Highway 60 at 301 in Tampa. Online 24-7 at BrandonFord.com. See my guy Tom Murray. Tell him I send you. He'll give you a great deal. They are the largest volume F-Series dealer in America. All right, coming up. The Rays over under win total, according to Vegas, is around 84 and a half. Are you going over or under? Our next guest will give you a very compelling uh, argument as to why he thinks they're going over. Neil Solon's Rays Radio, he's coming up next. Bust out those balls. It's spring training. The boys of summer are doing their thing. The vets are shaking off the rust. The rookies are looking to impress. And a ton of talent looking for a roster spot. As a high, towering fly ball to deep right field. Way back and gone. Get the latest from around the diamond. The inside word, league gossip, and everything else a baseball fan like you wants. This is the home of the Rays. 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Streaming live on a Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. If you're hiring, it can feel like you're trying to find a needle in a haystack. You can hope the right person comes along, or you can just use ZipRecruiter. And now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. In fact, ZipRecruiter has helped a lot of business owners find their needle in a haystack. Like Marco, president of operations at Telly Tires and Auto Centers. Because Telly Tires has grown a lot in the last few years, Marco needed to hire everyone from a receptionist to a store manager to a head mechanic. ZipRecruiter helps me find all the right people, even the most difficult jobs to fill. ZipRecruiter helps me keep my business running. Take it from Marco and millions of other businesses who've used ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter can help you find the needle in the haystack. See why four out of five employers who post a job on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. And right now, you can try ZipRecruiter for free. That's right, free at ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash R-A-D-I-O. ZipRecruiter.com slash radio. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. Revard Buick GMC wants to know, do you love the car you're driving in? If your answer is no, then you need to get to Revard Buick GMC right now to see these amazing deals on 450 plus new GMCs they have in stock. I'm talking about new GMCs. GMC Sierras with up to 10,000 off MSRP. Think of the time you spend in your car. You should love every minute of it, right? Rivard Buick GMC, the number three GMC dealer in the country. And now this February, a certified matchmaker that's setting you up on a date with your new ride. RivardBuickGMC.com. GMC, we are professional grade. Join me out here at Time Out Sports Bar on Oakhurst and Seminole. I'm hooking listeners up every 20 minutes with a pair of tickets to the Valspar Championship PGA Tour Tournament at Innisbrook Resort. Valspar is happening March 18th through 26th. You'll see the finest golfers in the world right here in Tampa Bay to compete on the Copperhead course at Innisbrook. So come on out right now. Time Out Sports Bar on Oakhurst and Seminole. Hi, I'm David Moss. If your vehicle needs service, there's no better place than Moss Nissan. With our state-of-the-art service facilities and factory trained technicians, we are more than equipped to service all make and model vehicles. Plus, with our extended service hours and our pickup and drop-off service, you can have your vehicle serviced according to your schedule, not ours. If you need a vehicle while yours is being serviced, we have plenty of Nissans available. Stop by and experience the Moss difference. Moss Nissan, whatever it takes. I lock up my Old Spice Fiji Aluminum Free Dry Spray to keep that 24-7 lasting freshness safe for myself. Fresh coconuts, palm trees in the wind. It's like catching waves in Fiji. Actually, I just talked myself into a refreshing spritz of Fiji. My Old Spice is missing! No!
I always wanted to learn Spanish, but I never thought I'd have the time. Then I discovered Babbel. Babbel's lessons are fun. They only take like 10 or 15 minutes, and in three weeks, presto, you're starting to speak another language, like magic. I love that Babbel's lessons aren't just robots talking. They're voiced by native speakers, so you get the pronunciation just right. If you want to learn a language, there's no faster, easier, better way than Babbel. 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 Go to Babbel.com and start learning a new language today. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Ew, gotta get rid of this old Backstreet Boys t-shirt. Tell me why. Because it stinks, boys. Tell me why. I've washed it so many times, but the odor won't come out. Tell me why. No, you tell me why I can't get rid of this odor. Have you tried Downy Rinse and Refresh? It doesn't just cover up odors. It helps remove them. Wow, it worked, guys. Yeah. Downy Rinse and Refresh removes more odor in one wash than the leading value detergent in three washes. Find it wherever you buy laundry products. Tampa Golfers Global Golf Outlet is now open with the largest selection of used clubs in Florida. You'll find thousands of used name brand clubs to choose from all at one location. TaylorMade, Callaway, Titleist, Ping, Cleveland, and more all at incredible prices. And at Global Golf Outlet, you'll also find hundreds of closeout deals on bags, shoes, and apparel. It's Florida's largest and only golf outlet where you can try, buy, and and trade all in one place. Global Golf Outlet, located on Gun Highway in the Hampton Plaza. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 commercial free stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like Alternative Rewind, where all rock began. REM, The Cure, Depeche Mode, Pretenders, Talking Heads, and more. Open the free iHeartRadio app, search Alternative Rewind, and listen now. iHeartRadio, free never sounded so good. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios. Where the most trusted voices in Tampa Bay sports call home. We are. 620 WTAE St. Petersburg, 95.3 FM W237CW Pinellas Park, 95.7 HD3 WBTP Clearwater, 96.7 FM W224BE Brandon. Streaming live on the free iHeartRadio app. Listen for all your music, sports, talk, and podcasts. Free never sounded so good. So good. So good. So good. It's Friday. Get in here. We got to go fast now. Guys. From town and country to Palm Harbor and all around Tampa Bay, plus worldwide on iHeartRadio, it's time for the best sports conversation on your ride home. Welcome to the Ronnie and T-Crash Show after the drive on 95.3 WDAE and AM 620. Uh, has, has very much looked the part, just continuing to mature, continuing to understand, you know, how his stuff plays best at the major league level. Um, and another one where a couple days ago, his last bullpen, you know, the, the chatter was that's as good of a bullpen as we've ever seen out of Taj across the board. The breaking ball, the change up. Nanya. That is Eric Neander, the race president <laughs> of baseball operations. The greatest bullpen session we've ever seen at a Taj Bradley. So oh, okay. high praise there. Let's hope that that translates into some quality starts and some wins because the race starting rotation will be up against it in 2024. Good evening, Tampa Bay. Welcome back. It is the fourth and final hour of Ronnie and T. Kraz on this fun free for all Friday with Chris Mathis also along for the ride as we'll take you up until 7 o'clock. More of your calls and texts coming up at 888-546-4620. Now, a reminder, guys, you have now less than six hours. Go on to our Instagram page at 953-WDAE for your opportunity to win four tickets to Sunday's game between the USF men's team and SMU, plus free food, Free drink, courtesy of our guys over at Yingling Beer, Ronnie. It's an awesome deal. It's a beautiful deal, so that's all you got to do is go to our Instagram site, like Tom said, at 953-WDAE, and just follow the directions and the prompts, and hopefully you'll end up with this four-pack of tickets for Sunday's game at the Yingling Center with free food and drink, folks. It's outstanding. Yeah, you've got until midnight to enter for that great giveaway. All right, the Rays, over, under, win total, 84 and a half. Which way are you going? 
Let's go to the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network DA hotline. Learn more at cfbhn.org. One half of the dynamic duo that is Rays Radio, the great Neil Solons is back with us here on Ronnie T. Kras. Neil, how the heck are you? Good. How are you? Thanks for having me on. I really appreciate it. Yeah, you got to be looking forward to the first radio broadcast of the season tomorrow as the spring games begin. What are you most looking forward to about this edition of the Rays? I mean, I I think for Ronnie, it's going to be very similar to the last and that it's going to be athletic and a fun team to watch. And I'm looking forward in terms of the spring to just learning some of the new guys and, and getting a real good feel for them. Um, and also seeing how some of the younger players are going to be given more of a lane to, you know, have an opportunity this year, just how they start out of the gate. Well, it's going to be important because I think the rest of this division got stronger in the offseason. We'll get into that in a matter of moments. But let's talk about pitching because the Rays have an abundance of it. Hopefully they're going to get some injured guys back a little bit later on. But you heard Eric Neander talk about Taj Bradley. Ryan Pepio came over in the Tyler Glass now trade. So give us your thoughts on these two youngsters and what kind of ceiling do you think they have? Yeah, that's. I mean, they they both have a really high ceiling. Um, you know, whether they both reach that ceiling or, or come close to that ceiling this year or next year, I mean, that's always hard to say. I don't think as much pressure, I mean, needs to be put on either of those guys. I'm sure they'll put their own internal pressure, but I mean, you go back to last year and what only one guy made more than 21 starts. You know, I, I pretty much figure that the Rays are going to use a lot of different starters, Kyle Snyder and Kevin Cash in the front office will do a great job of putting guys in a position where they have a chance to succeed. Um, and we'll probably end up seeing 30, 35 pitchers before the season's done, as we've seen the last couple of years. And hopefully they just put them in a position where they end up with a lot of wins as they've done the last several years. Neil, one guy who could be sort of like an X factor this year is Shane Boz. What are you hearing about him and his rehab and how the Rays plan on working him in at some point this season? I mean, it sounds like, you know, and, and, and I listened to your interview with, with Eric the other day and, and I, you know, chatted with a lot of folks is that um, they're going to be smart in how they utilize him and, and he's a hundred percent healthy. Um, but that said, he hasn't pitched much in the last two years. So, it sounds like they're going to limit his innings early so that they can't or they don't have to limit his innings later in the year. And that makes a whole lot of sense. You know, you go back to the days of, you know, when the Nationals had a guy like Steven Strasburg and they came to the end of the season and they were figuring out, okay, how do we, what do we do now? We're already as it is innings limit. And, you know, I figure that the goal here has always been for this group to go as deep as they can, not only be good in the regular season, but be really good in the postseason. So, you know, I would think that Shane's got a chance to just like, Taj and Ryan to be very good starting pitchers at this level. And it's a matter of, you know, how he acclimates himself and how he continues to grow and adjust. But both, all three of those guys have high end talent. I don't think there's any question. We're talking Rays with Neil Solons of Rays Radio here on Ronnie and T. Kraz, the spring training opener tomorrow, the Rays and the Braves. And you can listen to that game right here on your home for Rays baseball all season long, WDAE. So, Let's talk about this infield, Neil, and it is crowded all over, especially at shortstop. Very interesting position. Obviously, Wanda Franco's an afterthought. Ahmed Rosario, I thought, was a really good pickup for $1.5 million. A guy who's got some pretty good athleticism, could steal some bases, got some pop in his bat. He can play some different positions. You have Oslavis Basabi there and a couple of other guys who are vying for some at-bats. But how would you break down the shortstop position with this team, and who do you think is the opening day starter? Well, I don't know who's pitching on the other side, but I, I would still guess, you know, because the Rays do play a lot of matchups, but I would, I would still think that, you know, they said that Jose Caballero has a chance to be your, your regular shortstop at the beginning of the year. And I would think he's going to get the opportunity to do that. I, I would think that I also agree with you that Ahmed Rosario was a really good addition, especially, you know, what what they got him for and just chatting with some of my friends in Cleveland, you know, what a great clubhouse guy he is, how hard a worker he is, what an energy guy he is. And I've heard similar from the folks in Seattle about Caballero. So, you know, I would think that, that Jose from a defensive standpoint probably gets more starts. And I don't think Taylor Walls is as far off as, um, you know, some, some have said, I mean, he could be back the end of April or early May. 
Um, and then let's see where we are then. But I would think those those three guys between Caballero and Rosario and Walls probably this year would get you know a significant portion of the starts at shortstop. Um, and and I think you know they all bring something different. Um, but all of them are athletic and can run. And, um, you know I think will be good fits for for the Rays overall. Neil Solons from Rays Radio is joining us. They have their first broadcast of the spring coming up tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock from Port Charlotte down at Charlotte Sports Park, which is completely being redone, just about $17 million in repairs after Hurricane Ian. So, Neil, I'm sure you're looking forward to calling the game there. The you know We talked to, I think it was Eric, and also who else did we talk to that talked about the additions to the ballpark and the improvements of the ballpark uh, that it looks uh, almost brand new, right? Yeah, now. Andy Freed. Yeah, that's Andy. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's amazing. Um, the the you know, and, and especially when you consider you know, first of all, it's great to be down there um, because I know how many individuals, how many families you know suffered so much loss and are still probably dealing with that for for many homes. So I, I know it's great for us to be there for that community um, because they certainly have been there for us. And then you know, beyond that. Um, this has been our home um, for every year but one since 2009. So, you know, it's always great down there to chat with the fans, um, to to just, you know, be in that area and allow our players to kind of get comfortable with one another before they get started on hopefully another playoff run. So a lot of reasons to be excited to be back down uh, in Port Charlotte again. And, and I, I was there for a few workouts this week, and I agree 100% with Andy. I mean, it looks brand new again. Uh, and I'm excited to get things kicked off tomorrow. So from what you've seen so far, is there one guy that's really caught your eye like, okay, this guy looks like he's about ready to bust through and have a breakout type of season? Is that too early to say for anybody? I think it is because we haven't seen game action. And even when we get to spring training game action, the, the, there are probably, other than health, there are probably three things I look at when I look at spring training games. Um, one is pitchers throwing strikes. I think strike throwing carries over. Two is athleticism and, and team speed on the bases. And then three is defense, because I think no matter how you're playing defense in spring training, I think if you're playing it well, it carries over. Usually you're playing that at full speed. The way pitchers approach a hitter and the way hitters are going into their approach in spring training is vastly different. It's really the last week where I try and really hone in on whether guys seem like they're locked in for the start of the regular season. And then there are some guys who are just notoriously either fast or slow starters. So, you know, it's really the, the marathon that kind of determines who's, who's legit. But, I mean, from a young player standpoint, I am anxious to see a first spring with Junior Camonero. Um, you know, I'm anxious to see Jonathan Aranda now that he's been told he's going to get playing time at the big league level more than likely after two years where he's dominated AAA. Those are probably two offensive players. And you've touched on some pitchers and then, one I would add to it, and I don't know if he has a chance to break camp with the group, but um, I know he has a big arm, and that's a kid named Manny Rodriguez, who they got from the Cubs at the trading deadline last year, who I think at some point this year could help out of the bullpen. No doubt about that. We're on the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network DA hotline. Learn more at cfbhn.org. Neil Solons from Rays Radio is joining us. Renee Pinto is going to be the catcher for the Rays, get the bulk of the work. I guess we'll all find out together in spring training and when they head north to begin the regular season, who's going to be the backup. But your confidence in Renee Pinto. Now, I was saying I was a little concerned about this, but I realized that the catcher, I mean, that the manager, Kevin Cash, was a catcher. So I think he knows what good catching looks like. Yeah, (laughs) I I trust him and I trust her front office. And. You know, Renee caught the bulk of the games down the stretch last year. And this team, what, from mid-August on after Wonder was gone in the regular season, were 28-14. and 14. They won two-thirds of those games, and Renee caught a lot of them. And I know talking to the members of the pitching staff, they have a lot of confidence in Renee. Um, you know, is he going to catch 90, 100, 110 games? I, I don't know. Um, but I think when, you know, he's got, he's got the ability to receive well, call a game well, um, you know, listens well to his pitching staff and has a fair amount of power too. So I think that's a pretty good base. Um, and, and I think generally when the Rays give a young player that opportunity, there's a lot of trust and belief and they do a wonderful job building confidence. And I think that'll grow as, as the season goes, as I thought it did last September for him. And, 
In terms of the backup, look, we saw two years ago, the Rays got Harold Ramirez in mid-March and then got Isak Paredes days before the regular season started. So that person may be in camp right now, um, and there are a lot of good young catchers in camp. That person may get here during camp or before the regular season. Uh, but either way, I think they'll find guys who can help this group win and um, you know, that's been their MO so far. Without question, it's a great point. Neil, last one out of me. You know the American League East. We have this conversation every year. It's always tough, and this year looks like it is tougher. The Yankees went out this offseason. They got Juan Soto. They got Marcus Stroman. The Orioles, you know, won over 100 games. They got Coburn Burns, obviously a number one, and they've got a lot of really good young talent there. Toronto's always tough. The Red Sox might be you know, in a little bit of a rebuild there, but how would you handicap this AL lease? It looks like it's tougher on paper than it was from a year ago, is it not? I, I think it's a bear no matter what year you're talking about. I mean, I, I think, you know, Baltimore is obviously got to be your number one concern because they won the division last year. They added Burns. Um, you know, they don't have Felix Bautista, but they did bring Kimbrell in and they got Phil and Kate back off injury. So I'm sure their bullpen will be good. Um, I know they're also dealing with an injury to Kyle Bradish and John Dean. So we'll see how they get out of the gate, but I would expect a full, if they're healthy, if there's a healthy Adley Rushman and a healthy Gunnar Henderson, they're going to be very good. You know, the Yankees, I, I think they're good, but I'm still not sure how good because I, I think if Aaron judge is forced to play center field a lot, I think it makes them more prone to injury. Um, and we still don't know how good Rodon and Nestor Cortez are going to be this year coming off the injuries they had last season. I think they're very dependent on Soto, Judge, and, and Cole, and those guys almost have to be healthy all year for them to achieve. You know, I thought Toronto had a lot of success staying healthy last year. How sustainable that is, we'll see. I expect the Rays to be in the mix in the division, and, and I, I anticipate they're going to be another 90-ish win club again this year with a chance to be in the postseason if they're healthy. And um, you know, I, I, I kind of think that a lot of people are sleeping on this group. And if, if folks want to pick them third or fourth, sometimes I think that's where the Rays perform their best um, when uh, they've got a little bit of that extra chip on their shoulder. Well, speaking of chips on their shoulder, I think Randy or Rosarina has one because I'm, <laughs> I don't know if you've seen him yet, but <laughs> my God, dude, I, I saw him at Fan Fest and I went, whoa, what the hell happened here? And he says he did all of that because... He simply sort of wore down in the second half last season. A lot of people were trying to attribute it to the home run hitting. Home run derby. Yeah, the yeah. home run derby. He says that was not the case. He simply lost weight and wore down, and his production wore down with that. Uh, I hope he can put a whole season together because a whole complete season of uh, Randy or Rosarina would be fantastic around these parts. But what are your thoughts on Randy and him bulking up like he has? I mean, he, I thought he was I thought he was somewhat bulked up last year at the beginning of the year, but obviously he took it another step um, this offseason. If it helps him perform, great. You know, look, he's been a 2020 guy three years in a row. He's been one of the more consistent players that the Rays have had, and he's proven to be extremely durable. Um, you know, if Randy is that kind of Randy, um, the Rays are going to be okay. I mean, I look at the top portion of the lineup with, with Yandi, with Randy, with Josh Lowe, with Brandon Lau, with Isak Paredes, this is a group that was, what, top three in the big leagues last year and run scored. And, and I still think that this is a group, and Harold Ramirez is back right now too. So, I mean, you're talking about most of the top six of your lineup has returned. Um, I, I think it's going to be a good lineup, and I don't think they, you know, if guys take steps forward, it's even going to make it that much more a potent group, but – you know, if, if Randy is motivated to do even more, that's awesome. You can catch him tomorrow afternoon. Neil Solon's alongside Andy Freed as the Rays will open up spring training against the Atlanta Braves down in Port Charlotte. Of course, all of the action of Rays baseball can be heard right here on WDAE tomorrow afternoon, beginning at 1 o'clock. Baseball is back, Neil. We appreciate it, buddy. Let's go get him. Sounds good. Anytime, guys, and uh, looking forward to tomorrow and this weekend. So are we. Thanks, Neil. That's awesome news there. And 90 wins, according to Neil Solons. I mean, he's putting himself out there. He's like, you know what? This race team, they love to be the underdog. Everyone's talking about the Yankees. Everyone's talking about the Orioles. And Toronto's always tough. And the Rays lost Tyler Glass now, obviously, with the big trade. And no Shane McClanahan. No McClanahan. Year. Wander Franco, obviously, is detained. 
down in the DR. He's not coming back anytime soon, if ever. Everyone's down on the Rays. That's what they like. Neil said that's what they like, so we'll see if they can rise to the challenge uh, this 2024 baseball campaign. But, it, again, it, it all really depends on pitching, as it always does. Always. And we'll see how the Rays' starting rotation holds up. That's the big question mark for me. How is that starting rotation going to hold up? It's always about pitching. It's 70% of the game, and I know you guys are tired of hearing me say that, but it is pitching and defense. <laughs> No doubt about that, and uh, we saw that last season. When the rotation fell apart, uh, the team falls apart. That's just what happens, man. That's just the way that it is. That's baseball, dog. That's baseball. <laughs> exactly. Oh, come on, man. What's the matter with you? <laughs> None yet. All right. Um, if you guys happen to be involved in an injury accident, product liability, medical malpractice, you got to call on my guys over at Catania Catania. They are awaiting your call. They're always standing by to take your call. In fact, 24-7, 365. They've been doing their thing more than 30 years and with a proven track record of success. $500 million plus in counting has been recovered by my guys for injury victims just like you. So give them a call. Tell them I sent you. They're going to take great care of you every step of the process. 813-222-8545. That's 813-222-8545. Or hit them up online at CatanyCatania.com to get that free evaluation of your case. Because over at Catania Catania, they put families first. Office Tampa, not attorney spokesman. All right, 84 and a half wins over or under for the Rays this season. You tell us, 888-546-4620, 829-45 on the Bartow 4DA text platform. Also on the way back, the Buccaneers have to do some serious business before free agency begins, and now they will have more ammunition to do so. We'll explain next. Just think of us as your on-air man cave. Just without the beer-stained furniture and crushed chips in the carpet. Good for you. I hope you feel good about yourself. This is 95.3 WDAE and AM620. WDAE. Traffic update. Northbound 275, still a slow ride from the West Shore area to I-4 and eastbound I-4 from 301 out towards McIntosh Road. A crash off to the left-hand side on northbound 75, north of 674, right around mile marker 243. Again, it's off to the left-hand side. All lanes are open, but traffic slow from before Sun City. We're seeing delays, too, in St. Pete, southbound 275 near Gandy, northbound 275 near Tropicana Field. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Allstate. Some people just know the best rate for you is a rate based on you with Allstate, not one based on anyone else. So if you drive safely, you could save money. Good to know. Visit Allstate.com or call for a quote today. Hungry Howie's Pepperoni Duo is a large pizza smothered with old world cupped pepperoni and original pepperoni. Try it with our newest flavored crust, Southwest Ranch. Only $9.99 and both for a limited time at Hungry Howie's. Hi, everyone. I'm Sean Kelly, the voice of the Gators for my friends at IDC, International Diamond Center, the official jeweler of the Gators. IDC is the place I recommend to all my friends and everyone in Gator Nation for diamonds, engagement rings, and all of their fine jewelry needs. International Diamond Center is a Florida family-owned jeweler with worldwide connections to guarantee you the best value period. I only partner with the best of the best, someone I can trust that will never disappoint someone that I send their way. Experience for yourself a mind-blowing selection, uncompromising quality with exceptional value, and ironclad warranties. And most important to me is their reputation for doing business with honesty and transparency. International Diamond Center, the place where the Gators get up and go for diamonds, engagement rings, fashion jewelry, and Swiss timepieces. Store locations, hours, and more at shopidc.com. I lock up my Old Spice Fiji Aluminum Free Dry Spray to keep that 24-7 lasting freshness safe for myself. Fresh coconuts, palm trees in the wind. It's like catching waves in Fiji. Actually, I just talked myself into a refreshing spritz of Fiji. My Old Spice is missing! No! So 
Sell your home with a guaranteed offer from Mark Spain Real Estate. You'll save time and make the most money. Hi, this is Mark Spain, and our offers are the strongest in the industry. One of our clients, Ryan, said, we receive significantly more than our asking price and much more than we expected. I've been in business for nearly 30 years and have served over 50,000 satisfied clients, and I know what matters most, a quick sale and maximum profit. Find out what your guaranteed offer would be on your home. There's no obligation. Go to MarkSpain.com to get a guaranteed offer on your home today. That's MarkSpain.com and start packing. Tampa Golfers Global Golf Outlet is now open with the largest selection of used clubs in Florida. You'll find thousands of used name brand clubs to choose from all at one location. TaylorMade, Callaway, Titleist, Ping, Cleveland, and more all at incredible prices. And at Global Golf Outlet, you'll also find hundreds of closeout deals on bags, shoes, and apparel. It's Florida's largest and only golf outlet where you can try, buy, and trade all in one place. Global Golf Outlet, located on Gun Highway in the Hampton Plaza. Ugh, after a big dinner, my nighttime heartburn would keep me up. I'd be taking antacid after antacid all night long. But then I tried Prilosec OTC. Just one pill a day blocks my frequent heartburn for a full 24 hours, giving me one and done heartburn relief. Without heartburn keeping me up, <sighs> I could have a restful night's sleep. Prilosec OTC. One pill a day, 24 hours, zero heartburn. It's possible while taking Prilosec OTC. Use as directed for 14 days to treat frequent heartburn, not for immediate relief. Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors. Visit TrajanWealth.com. From the Cool Today Weather Center, CoolToday.com. It's been a mostly sunny afternoon with a high around 70 and high winds. Gusty winds continue tonight with rain early, low 57. Clearing skies by morning, Saturday and Sunday, sunny, breezy, high 70 degrees. This report is sponsored by Pfizer. COVID-19? I don't want to risk missing work. I booked an appointment for this season's updated COVID-19 shot designed to help protect against recent variants. Learn about a vaccine option and book your COVID-19 shot on ScheduleCovidVax.com. Sponsored by Pfizer. Broadcasting from the Rude Air Conditioning Studios, this is Tampa Bay Sports Radio, 95.3 WDAE and AM620. Home of the best Bolts coverage. But having watched him last year, I think he proved not just to the team, but to himself um, that he's still got a, a lot of juice left. And, you know, he was able to do stuff physically. Um, and what he has done, again, maybe a Tom Brady effect, but the nutrition, uh, understanding how much rest he needs. Um, if it's a day off during the week towards the end of the season, whatever that is. Rick Stroud from the Tampa Bay Times, TampaBay.com, from our show yesterday. He was talking about the ageless one, Levante David, who also joined our show yesterday. We replayed that interview earlier today. In case you missed any of those interviews, especially the one with Levante David, that made a lot of national headlines. That's why you got to be listening to the show each and every day. You never know what kind of news we're going to break here on WDAE. Catch every interview online, Ronnie T. Kraz, show page blog, 953wdae.com. Download the iHeartRadio app for free. Take us with you anywhere. You can access interviews, commercial free podcasts, also through the app. It's a beautiful thing. So I'm wondering what's going to be happening here. We heard from Rick Stroud today at tampabay.com and in the Times that preliminary talks have begun with Baker and his people. And those talks will continue in Indianapolis this week. <laughs> yeah, sign of the NFL Combine. Well, actually, you know, it's going to be a busy week because we're going to hear from Coach. We're going to hear from Jason Light. Yes. All of that is going to be going down next week up in Indianapolis. <sighs> and we're going to be right here, man. <sighs> don't, don't remind me. Yeah, we're going to be white right here. We're not going to be at, what, St. Elmo's Steakhouse? Is right. That, that place big... is awesome, man. I've never been. I would love to go. A you nice juicy steak. Oh, man. Right I, I had, I had oh. a really great steak on... Tuesday at Burns, uh, telling you guys about that. I tried the Chateau, Ooh, Chateau Bri oh, the Chateau Briand. It was outstanding because I've never <laughs> had it. Because I always get the fillet, uh, but the server Vance was awesome. He's like, okay, the Chateau is very much like a fillet. It's kind of the end piece, and I'm like, okay, I'll try it. It was <laughs> scintillating. It was succulent. How many ounces was this steak, Tom? It was nine. Nine oh, ounces. okay. All but right. No, yeah. but, but as Ronnie knows, when you go to Burns and you order a steak, they steak, French onion soup is to die for. They have the house salad. They have the vegetable. It's unbelievable. They, the, 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 the onion strings. Yes. It's so oh, good. So much food comes with your steak, which is phenomenal. That's why 
Burns is awesome. It's such a great experience. And I think the photo that you shot, one of them we saw, you were in the dessert room, it looked like, with your sister, right? I was, yeah. So she had never been there, so I wanted to show her the entire experience of Burns. So we had dinner. The Mater D, Frank Russo, great guy, greeted us and showed us to our table. I want to thank John Urbanski, my guy, for setting all that up. This was weeks ago. I set up this reservation for different reason but yeah. it worked out because i want to take my sister because she had never been to burn so we sat down we had the dinner after dinner of course we did the whole kitchen and the nice. wine cellar tour yep. they tell you about all these extravagant bottles of wine they have they have a bottle of wine in there from the 1800s chris mathis that is worth Forty nine thousand dollars. That's uh, that's in your price range, right? When, when, uh, <laughs> Who, when me the, or yeah. Tom? No, you. Oh, oh you. Man. And I, yeah, no. When I'm me. when I'm leaving work tonight, I was gonna go sip on my bottle, man. Uh, when your lovely gets down here, that's where you got to take her. Burns, yeah, man. I might have oh, to. Oh, yeah. When the time is right for that. Yes, yeah. sir. Uh, I.e. when you get more money. Exactly. But, um, <laughs> but then after that, we went went up to the dessert room. It was fantastic. I had the. Um, the peanut butter truffle, which is oh, you can't beat that man to die for. Really, my, almost anything, and that menu is extensive. My sister had the like the banana cheesecake. Yeah, I'm telling. Oh you. my goodness, I'm telling you. Well, St. Elmo's is not quite as extravagant, but pretty close. And they've got a new room there at St. Elmo's. It's uh, that's what I hear. Very cool, man. Very cool. You know the the. The funny thing, it's not funny thing, but, you know, I lost my dad last year. And guess what? I took the siblings out. We went out to St. Elmo's after the services. And, you know, it's kind of, you know, weird that you did the same thing with your sister. Yeah. After your dad's service down here. Well, and my sister went above and beyond for my dad. Now she's got the flu, unfortunately. So, you know, whatever we caught up in New York or, at the, you know, the airport is the dirtiest place in America. I mean, uh, at the airport, on, on the plane itself. You, People you, coughing and hacking and sneezing. Uh, it's, it's disgusting, man. I, I, don't, I don't think I want to fly anytime soon if I can help it. But uh, now she's got the flu. But look, she, she's she been a godsend for me in many ways and also for my dad and the health issues that he was going through. So I thought it would be just a treat to take her to Burns. And she loved it. She's like, this is awesome. She goes, is this, is this where you take all your ladies? I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I go, only the ones that I care about and the ones that care about me, truly. That's where I take them. Uh, exactly. Uh, so uh, Dolan said, Bananas Foster. Yeah, anything in that dessert room is going to be top shelf at Burns. Oh, man. You know what? Uh, oh, I'm blanking on the name now. Um, it's like a, it's almost like a custard that's glazed over Jack the top. Jack Mayhoffer. No, not that. <laughs> Creme brulee. Creme oh, brulee. man, that's oh, one of my classic yeah. go-tos. Yeah, it's awesome. I haven't tried it there, obviously. I don't even know if they have it, but I would definitely try that. Gosh, I'm starving. Hey, got We're a text hungry. on the Bartow 4 da text line about the mailbag. Yeah, if you missed it, it's already podcasted, so uh, go give that a listen. Yeah, 953WDA.com. Get on it there. Look at that guy. I mean, a backhanded comment there. But it's great to hear and see you bastards back together this week. That's not <laughs> nice. Uh, <laughs> I he's think he's fun. just no, joshing. He's having fun. Jerry's having fun. Uh, we, we love you, Jerry. Um, actually, I like Grill Smith too, Dolan. Grill yeah. Smith has this soup, which is just phenomenal. Hey, Jerry's soup. <laughs> Come Why don't you order a sandwich? <laughs> um, they had this um, pumpkin crab. Bisque pumpkin bisque sh soup at Grill Smith. Oh yeah, it's it's phenomenal, and I get it every single time. What's Grill Smith? Where, where's that at? It's a nice restaurant. Yeah, I mean it's a chain, but it's 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 nice. But it's a it's a little more upscale. I mean it, it's not your typical chain. Yeah, and, and they've got them all over the Bay Area. I think this. Yeah, it is nice, Tyler. Oh, nice. You know, you certainly have the money to go to Grillsmith or Burns or yeah, anywhere else for that matter. You talk about restaurants. He's in uh, restaurant heaven oh, out there in L.A., bro. In L.A. Southern Cal. He's he's going to be rolling the dice out there. I mean, the Bucks are going to be rolling the dice, too, if they let Mike Evans get the free agency. And we talked about that earlier. And $30 million plus is the salary cap increase, which is unprecedented. The NFL made that announcement today, so the salary cap is going from 224 to 255 in 2024. So the Bucks get more room, they get more money, so does everybody else too, for that matter. Yeah, Bucks can hire you now. 
You know, they got money to, you know, match your contract. Are you five bucks, you know. <laughs> Maybe I'll go to the movies by myself. Uh, exactly. Hey, hey, I'm a movie by myself kind of guy. I did it the other day. I told you that, Chris, on my day off on yeah. President's Day. Lovely Bobby was up in New York, and I said, you know what? I'm going to go see The Boys in the Boat. Man. Oh, yeah. How was that? Outstanding. It was. Yeah. Okay. University of Washington, those kids were, it was actually the juniors and not the seniors in the boat that got to go to the Olympics, and that created a, a little bit of an uproar. I'm not going to say much more about it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, don't spoil it, Ronnie. But it, it was outstanding, though, I thought. I'm a big go-to-the-movie kind of guy. I love the atmosphere at the movie. The popcorn, that's the one time I drink a soda is at the movie. Yeah, well, it's you know it's based on a true story that happened that truly did happen in the 1936 Olympics to this team from Washington. That was the Berlin Olympics? The Berlin Olympics. And oh, yeah, yeah with uh, Hitler, Hitler and Jesse Owens. Yeah. Yep. yep. Well, the American team looked great. It was uh, it was very cool to watch that man. All right, that's that's good stuff. And yeah, I've I've gone to the movies by myself. I like going to movies by myself. <laughs> really? It's it. It's, I don't want anyone to bother me necessarily. Exactly. You know, when you go to a movie with somebody, you know, they're making comments just like you know, I want to watch the movie. You know. Come yeah, on. It was, and you go in the middle of the day, you don't have to worry about people talking and acting a fool. Oh, because a matinee, yeah, yeah, with the rest of the geezers. That's it's, outstanding. It's like <laughs> yeah. that, Jerry. And there were some geezers in there, bro. <laughs> that Seinfeld episode, whenever they walk into the theater, Tom. You yes. Know, and I remember that. I remember that episode. That one stuck with me for some reason. Yeah, they, they have plenty of, uh, plenty of episodes that will tend to stick to you. Look at this clown. <laughs> Sports talk, not very good at it, but food talk, you guys are pretty good at it. I'm pretty good at this, you're, too. You're right here. all easy. You're oh, listening. What you're are you listening. Doing? Come People on. can see you, man. You're uh, on camera. Hey, can you see this? Huh? Oh, Can you no. see this? Huh? <laughs> uh, so Dolan wants to know which airport you flew out of. Oh, God. The, the worst airport. Which one? LaGuardia. Well, isn't that under reconstruction right yeah, now? They, yeah. Like, they've, they've expanded it. Uh, they've enhanced it somewhat, but... Every time, like, when I used to live up in New York, I always flew out of Newark or JFK LaGuardia. is like, <laughs> LaGuardia is just terrible. Well, hopefully the improvements that they're doing to it are going to make it better well, in the long run. Well, it, it can't get any worse. So I think there's only one way to go but up when you're that bad. Remember, LaGuardia, I think, was the airport when uh, Sully Sullenberger... Remember when they made the movie on yes. the, the, the yes. bird strike on... Uh, on a Delta flight, I, I think, believe I, it was. And I flew Delta, too, by the way, which made me a little nervous. <laughs> so... Um, I think it was Delta. It might have been I U.S. Think, Airways. I think it was a Delta flight. Okay. I'll, I'll go back and double check, but... but he did a hell yeah, of a job, You better check man. your sheet, man. Check your sheet. Well, you can check it real quick, man. You, you got Google in there. Sully was the name of the movie. Tom Hanks was outstanding as uh, Sullenberger, you know, the pilot who... they. He, Right after takeoff, there was a bird strike in one of the engines, and he had a he was forced to make an emergency landing, and they landed the plane on the Hudson River. Yeah, and U.S. Everybody. Airways flight US Airways. 1549. Okay. There you go, 154. It was a U.S. Airways flight. So um, he was just so calm and collective, talking to the control tower. And I was talking to my brother about that. We were in the airport getting ready to fly. I don't know why we were talking yeah, about why that. Why would you bring that up? I don't know, man. <laughs> why it's, would you it's, do that? it's not a positive vibe. <laughs> no. So I said to him, oh, I'm like, can, can you imagine you can simulate any kind of flight you want, but you're never going to recreate those conditions because you have to think on your feet mm -hmm. with at least 200 plus lives on the plane, and God no, you know. Thousands more wherever you decide to put that plane, whether it was at an airport and they were criticizing him because they thought he could have go. Look, when you have to think on the spot and lives are at stake, I thought he did an unbelievable job of landing that thing in the Hudson River. And it was a flawless landing. Nobody died, right? He made the right decision because if he had tried to make it back to an airport, he would have crashed into a populated area and the, ca yeah, the and casualties would have been untold. Oh, gosh, it would have been disastrous. Absolutely disastrous. You're, you're in the cities. You're in the nation's largest metropolitan area. So he did the right thing. I'm gonna put. If we crash, we're gonna go down in the water. Yes, I just flicked you off on the live stream. <laughs> Somebody and, saw that. And huh? that, that was the guy who texted in about. You know, we we're not good at sports talk, but we're good at talking about food. Uh, let's go to Chris in Tampa. Too high on all of Tampa. all of all of it, and we're proud of it. Chris, what's going on? What up, players? Hey, what's up, man? Hey, um, real quick, uh, uh, T. Kraz, I've, I've got the cold, or not, I don't have it anymore, but I'm on day 10 
of that cold and flu. Oh. Started off with strep throat, yeah. uh, oh. strep throat oh. headache, and fever. Oof. And now I'm on day 10 of the sniffles and congestion. So it's, it's a big one this time. So What did you get at flying? Uh, like uh, Tom and my wife, did you get at flying? No, I was actually at work and it just, boom, hit me. And then wow. the next morning I was sick as a dog. Yeah, but it's, it's ended up in the walk-in clinic. But just, yeah, I'm on day 10 of that. But uh, well, real quick, um, when I got up today and I saw the cap went up, significantly I, I got all excited and happy but it still sounds like even that happened we're still in trouble with signing all these people and what what i wanted to ask from you guys and hang up and listen how much more do we need 50 million 60 million so we're not in trouble because i thought what they just raised it to now would do be enough but how much more do we need so we are not in trouble with any of our players thanks guys well, and here's the good news, Chris, and thanks for the phone call. A- according to which website you're looking at, the Bucks right now are like 43, 44, 45 million dollars under the cap. So that's good. The other good news is this. They can do a number of other things to get even more cap space. Cutting unfortunately Shaq Barrett, I think that time is coming. Russell Gage, too. I think he is absolutely gone. That's going to free up some more space. Restructuring contracts. Again, keep an eye on one of the corners. I think Carlton Davis is going to be in some trouble here. I think he might get traded and or released. So all those moves, coupled with the Ryan Jensen retirement, is going to free up even more money. So I think the chances are improved that the Buccaneers can bring back all of their big players and then some. Yeah, they got a number of contracts that they can restructure. So they're going to find the money, and I think they're going to make a very decent offer to Mike Evans. It looks like Baker's here, but, you know, it's not official yet, but they're talking to his people already. I think Baker's almost a certainty. I think Antoine Winfield is staying. Mike Evans is still going to be a little bit of a challenge. I still put it at 60-40, but we'll find out in the days and weeks to come. The combine is next week. I think we'll get more information there. Guys, the weather today was outstanding, and you know the summer's coming around the corner. Get ready to dive into it with my guys over at Pool Perfection, Tampa Bay's premier luxury pool builder and remodeling contractor. And what they do over at Pool Perfection, they've been doing this for many, many years, Tampa Bay's most trusted pool builder, thousands of happy customers. Go online, see all the five-star Google reviews. If you don't believe me, they are out there. Shy is the owner, and he takes great pride in customer service and satisfaction. And Pool Perfection will build your pool in weeks, not months. From custom designs for new pools to spa, sun shelf additions for remodels, they will bring your pool dreams to life, guys. They will totally transform your backyard. You can call now for a free estimate and get a 3D design of what your new pool and your backyard will look like. Trust, professionalism, great track record, Pool Perfection, Call them, tell them I sent you. Here's the number, 727-518-POOL. That's 727-518-7665. Pool Perfection, tell them T-Crash sent you. The Golden Diamond Source has been your trusted jewelry destination for 40 years here in the Tampa Bay area, and they take pride in offering only natural diamonds formed over billions of years, as you know, by the Earth's incredible forces. So why... Settle for something hastily made in a factory over a few weeks. Why would you do that? With a Golden Diamond Source, if you're a first-time buyer, they got a first-time buyer program to help you sort through all of what you're looking for, to educate you about the four C's, cut, clarity, color, carrot, and all the different shapes and styles. They want to make sure that you have an informed decision, that you make an informed decision when you're making this very special purchase in your life, Tom. Without question, Ronnie, discover the ultimate jewelry supercenter with the largest selection of exquisite engagement rings. And don't wait any longer to find that perfect engagement ring for that special someone. So as your relationship grows, by the way, so can your diamond with the gold and diamond source diamond trade up at any time. Three to five year interest refinancing is available. No, oh, by the way, you can explore their exclusive collection of pre-owned Rolex watches offering timeless elegance and exceptional quality. So remember guys to make sure it's a golden diamond source diamond. 
They're at 3800 Omerton Road in Clearwater. Steve and Julie Weintraub are the best. Always online at goldendiamond.com. Tell them Ronnie T. Grass sent you. All right, when we come back, we're going to wrap up this week's festivities, look ahead to the weekend, and the last word next. Play ball! Tomorrow, spring training is underway. Catch all the action live beginning at 1230 as the Rays take on the Atlanta Braves on the radio home of the Tampa Bay Rays all season long. 95.3 WDAE and AM 620 and streaming live on Alexa and the free iHeartRadio app. WDAE traffic update. Northbound 275, still a slow ride from the West Shore area to I-4 and eastbound I-4 from 301 out towards McIntosh Road. A crash off to the left-hand side on northbound 75, north of 674, right around mile marker 243. Again, it's off to the left-hand side. All lanes are open, but traffic slow from before Sun City. We're seeing delays, too, in St. Pete, southbound 275 near Gandy, northbound 275 near Tropicana Field. With traffic, I'm Randy Myers. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida. February 29th. February 29th is your last chance to get the best F-150 deal ever at Brandon Ford. We're blowing out F-150s at an incredible pace, but we still have so many of these leftover 2023s. Now, these leftovers may not be exactly the color you're looking for or have exactly the equipment you like, but man, are we discounting them. 30 of these trucks, at least 12000 off the sticker. Save thousands more with rates like 1.9% for 72 months. Even new 2023 F-150 Lightnings are up to 15 grand grand off sticker with rates as low as 3.9 percent for 60 months we don't know when brandon ford will ever be able to offer these deals again or give you more for your truck trade-in but we do know that february 29th is coming up fast so you have to hurry so you have to hurry because the f-150 objective ends soon at brandon ford highway 60 and 301 in tampa and at brandonford.com the largest volume f-series dealer in america business leaders entrepreneurs and innovators the heart of every great idea and breakthrough is not just technology, but the people behind it. It's time for Synapse Summit. Join us on February 28th in downtown Tampa at Amelie Arena for Florida's leading innovation event. Synapse Summit is Florida's go-to innovation event where you'll connect with the latest tools, strategies, and the heart of any innovation effort. The people making it happen. This is your chance to meet face-to-face with pioneers and peers, share insights, and spark collaborations that could shape the future of your business. Come listen to experts' insights on how to lead and build a stronger, more innovative team. Come for the knowledge and leave inspired to make a real impact. Innovation begins with connection, and there's no better place to make those connections than at the Synapse Summit, happening February 28th in downtown Tampa at Amelie Arena. Secure your spot today at SynapseSummit.com. That's SynapseSummit.com. Synapse Florida and the Florida Next Foundation is a 501c3 not-for-profit. I'm still going for it, even with higher stroke risk from atrial fibrillation and a regular heartbeat not caused by a heart valve problem. Over a three-year study, Eliquis Apixaban tablets reduced stroke risk better than warfarin, and over 97% of Eliquis patients did not experience a stroke. A first stroke occurred in 2.9% of warfarin patients versus 2.3% of Eliquis patients. Don't stop taking prescription Eliquis without asking your doctor. It may increase your stroke risk. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve, abnormal bleeding, or antiphospholipid syndrome. While taking, you may bruise more easily or take longer for bleeding to stop. A spinal injection while on Eliquis increases risk of blood clots, which may cause paralysis, the inability to move. Get medical help right away for unexpected bleeding, unusual bruising, or tingling, numbness, or muscle weakness. Medications such as aspirin products, NSAIDs, SSRIs, SNRIs, and blood thinners may increase bleeding risk. Tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures. Learn more at Eliquis.com or call 1-855-ELIQUIS. By now, you've heard all of our ads. America's largest injury law firm. It means that when you hire us, you get a legal army. When it comes to law, size matters. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Good Greek moving in storage. Your superhero movers. This is Doug Gottlieb. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Staples Stores. The NFL salary cap will take an unprecedented $30 million leap this year to more than $255 million bucks thanks to new TV revenue. 
Contract talks are now underway between the Buccaneers and quarterback Baker Mayfield. Negotiations are expected to heat up at the NFL Scouting Combine. And there's no timetable yet for Lightning defenseman Hayden Fleury's return from an injury suffered in last night's loss to Washington. I'm Scott Davidson. Now, during Staples Citathon, you can save up to $180 on select chairs, desk chairs, computer chairs, even gaming chairs. In store only, offer ends 3 2. See Associates for details. Stop by Staples today and grab a seat. We are Tampa Bay's only option for talking sports 24 7. This is WTAE on air and streaming live on the free iHeartRadio app. Download it now. Last word. Well, it begins tomorrow. Spring games begin for the Tampa Bay Rays. A lot of questions. The big ones, the starting rotation, shortstop, and catching. A lot of answers will be determined here in the next three months to begin this 2024 campaign. Is this a playoff team? That is the big question. The over and under on wins, 84 and a half from the wise guys. I happen to think they'll do a little better than that. If you missed our Neil Solon's interview, you can go back and listen to that. He thinks they're going to do pretty damn good. We'll all find out together, but baseball season is here. It's back. I love it. The boys of summer begin play for the Rays tomorrow afternoon. The last word. The NFL increasing the salary cap. $30 million is good news for the Bucs. It's also good news for the 31 other teams. So this should give the Buccaneers plenty of ammunition to get things done with Baker Mayfield. Maybe Antoine Winfield get the franchise tag. Mike Evans is going to be the tricky negotiation. Now that more money's on the table, more money out there for other teams to give to Mike as well. We're going to learn a lot more next week at the NFL Scouting Combine. Stay tuned. The last word. By the way, that Rays game will be on our air tomorrow afternoon at 1 o'clock. You heard about Neil Solons. Yeah, well, thank you, Eric. Neil Solons was on the program today, um, but he and Andy and Chris Adams Wall will have all the action for you tomorrow as they take on the mighty Atlanta Braves down there. I didn't give a shit what half the crew said. <laughs> oh, oh, come on, dog. Oh, no, we're just giving out information. Right, come on. Come on. Wow. All right, well. It's been a great week. It's great to be back with all of you guys. Want to thank our guests. Neil Solon's a great one. He'll be on the call tomorrow. Rays and the Braves right here on your home for Rays Baseball. Don't forget, you have until midnight tonight to enter into our contest. Go to our Instagram page at 953WTA.com. Four tickets for the USF SMU game. Free food, free drinks. So head on to the Instagram page and get signed up. All right, horns up, bulls, lightning. Let's get it out of, you know, wherever you're stuck right now. Let's do it. Have a great weekend, everyone. You're dismissed. Come on, get out of here. (laughs) Are you professional or not? They bought the suckers. That's why they call it Match Martinus. Look what they're doing to this man. man. The Rays suck, man. I'll say this, I'm happy we got a long weekend. Don't, don't, don't miss a moment of Ronnie and T-Kraz. Head to the Ronnie and T-Kraz blog at 953WDAE.com and live stream 95.3 WDAE on the free iHeartRadio app or on your Alexa. Just say Alexa Play 95.3 WDAE on iHeartRadio. Stay tuned.